will say that's the number one question, right? Yeah. So the green is it the does that have anything to do with? Uh... <laughs> Come on, we know, we know, you know, you know, we know. <laughs> you know, I looked at it was like, hey, Uncle Danny, I don't, I know you don't know me. <laughs> I'm going on tour with the green. I'm going to play with JP them. And he looks at me and he's like, what the hell? This subway worker is telling me that he's going to go play with my nephew them on tour, you know? So what was the biggest fight that green ever had? Not many fights, sorry. Yeah. It's just the ratings will be way lower if you don't I know. controversial. You know? I know. It's fine, it's fine. You yeah, make Kaka cry, but what more do yeah. you guys want? Bro? <laughs> what more do you want? I forgot about tissue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much is it? the one that starts crying. No, no, totally. It's, it's totally fine. I might have cried like three times on the podcast. Like, how long do you plan to keep doing this? I mean, you guys got family, kids. Forever, bro. Till the wheels fall off. Bro. Yeah. I, I would say till we kind of walk on stage, but I've yeah. seen people make some arrangements for guys to get up on stage. Velina Mai Kako, welcome to Keep It Aloha, a podcast that keeps it aloha by becoming the Avengers of music. I'm your host, Kamaka, and if I had a super team, I would make our team color green. Before we introduce our talented guests, I gotta ask you all a huge favor. Head over to keepitaloha.com to check it out and maybe buy some Keep It Aloha merch or join our online community. I also want to remind you to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash if you want to support us for as little as $3 a month. You can get some pretty cool perks like behind the scenes action of my life and this podcast or an uncut audio version of this podcast before it's even released if you join our $10 a month tier. If supporting us with money is not for you, but you still love this podcast, please consider leaving us a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. I read every single review because I appreciate it so much. And to prove it, here's one from, from Vamp Carson Cullen. He says, it's a must listen for those with high connections. I look forward to every episode of Kamaka's podcast. Our family has relocated to the continent and Keep It Aloha helps to keep me connected to Hawaii. Each guest shares so much mana'o and valuable insight into Hawaiian culture and what it means to keep it aloha. It's hard not to finish listening to an episode without becoming a greater fan of the guest. Hoping that Jack Johnson will be on the show one day. Don't worry, we got some... Some people are just as good as Jack Johnson today, though. All right, let's introduce our guest because I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. Support for this podcast comes from Texaco in Hawaii, which features 58 convenient locations across the state. Fueling up at Texaco is fast and easy when you use the Texaco mobile app to pay at the pump. The Texaco mobile app is a contactless way to pay for fuel so you can get in and out of the gas station quickly. Fuel your car and fuel yourself. Pick up your favorite local snacks and ice cold drinks at your neighborhood Texaco today. Texaco at Tecron, driving performance. Our guests today are three band members from a very popular band that you may have heard of called The Green, located here in Hawaii. Our first two guests are a guitarist and keyboardist, both former band members of the group called Stir Crazy. Our third guest is the most recent member who joined in 2017 as the band's drummer. Together with their two other band members, Caleb Kilanui and our past podcast guest, Brad Watanabe, they make the super team of music called The Green. With four distinct voices, the ability of four separate songwriting talents, a musicianship of pop, burnish, roots, reggae style that they cooked up, The Green quickly became a popular local band on the island and beyond. Countless miles of touring, six studio albums, iTunes Best Reggae Album of 2010, three Nahoku Hanohan Awards in 2014 for Group of the Year, Reggae Album of the Year, and Entertainer of the Year have led them to become recognized as one of the industry's best, as well as ambassadors of Aloha, helping represent Hawaiian people and culture <sighs> to the world <laughs> with their craft. I am out of breath, and I am so stoked that they're here today. <laughs> Their names are Zion Thompson, Ikaika Anthony, is that right? Anton, and Jordan Espinoza. Aloha, guys. Welcome to the podcast here at Vi Vi Collective. How are you doing? Uh, aloha, aloha. Um, I think that was the longest wow. intro I've ever done. No, we're, I think I actually got a little you killed little it. tired. In flowers, no. You killed it. That was, that you was killed it. <laughs> Mahalo. Well, Thank stoked you, that, that you awesome. three are here. Mahalo for making the time. I know you live yeah. on Big Island, right? Yeah, I live in Kona. Yeah. Okay, the junk side of the island, but it's okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hilo boy over oh. here. Yeah. <laughs> Shots <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She's firing early. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I was, you know, I the wasn't born there, side. so I'm not going to go too. Yeah, okay, okay. No worries. <laughs> but he is offended, though. <laughs> He is a fan. <laughs> it's like I got 
You guys got the sun. We got the rain. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I flying back after this. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell everybody from Kona. Don't hate on me. You Still, don't go, 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 Kona. go and yeah, leave no, no. us a review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, for real, I'm super honored and stoked that you guys are here. I'm really interested in getting to know your life stories and hearing more about the green. I mean, you guys are really the Avengers of music in my eyes. You know, just a bunch of superstars <laughs> that came together that formed this amazing team. Wow. So I talked with Brad Thanks, uh, yeah. last year, I think, and he told mm -hmm. me a little bit about it. And now I got three other awesome members. So yeah. let's get right into it. Uh, I don't know let's how you guys go. Who, who usually goes first in this? Oh. Well, let, let's go with Jordan since yeah. this is oh, first. Oh, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we're trying to hide in the corner. So over first there. real, <laughs> first real podcast. Yeah, let's yeah. go with me first. Okay, let's so go. we all start off in the beginning. Where are you from? Where are you grad? And what was it like growing up? Oh, well, um... What was the first one? Where I'm from? Oh, that, come on. First question you could even Sorry, remember. my bad. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. You just yeah. want to get the order right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, yeah. Where are you from? Where are you grad? And what was it like growing up? Answer in that order. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm from Pearl City. Um, I lived Pearl City all my life. I've graduated from Pearl City High School. And um, yeah, I mean, there's not really that much you can do in Pearl City. But, <laughs> you know, we... Uh, <laughs> We have a couple of good baseball teams down there, but I didn't choose that route, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, growing up, I was around, you know, music a lot. My family, them, you know, always blasted like the, the old school, you know, music. And I was just around music a lot. My mom sang a lot around the house. And um, that has nothing to do with me playing drums. <laughs> but um, yeah, I started playing drums at like five. Um, oh, wow. So my crazy. parents bought me my first drum set at like five years old and... I was playing on like pots and pans and stuff, you know, and just, you know, just messing around in the kitchen and stuff. And my parents realized that I had a little thing going. So they bought me my first drum set. And from there, I was just playing in church as, you know, I was, as I was growing up. And from there, I went to, you know, other bands and stuff. I used to play for this band called Rudical Rhythm. And mm -hmm. from there, you know, transitioned to the, to the Boys of the Green. So... Right place, right time, bro. You know, yeah. just kind of grew up in, in, in the music, you know, just, yeah. Okay. For sure. But you, you never played baseball at all? I did a couple years. Oh, so but were, were I you part of the, any of the Little League World Series? No, not that good. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> not that good. I kept the bench you're, warm. You're, they kept wondering why you kept hitting the, the bat this way, up and down, yeah? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah. Why are you swinging yeah, like yeah. this? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know. Not, not too much, but... Okay, right Pearl on. Pearl City represent. Yeah, so. yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> yes, go. <cool>. Charges. <laughs> are the, are um, you, um, I guess, uh, uh, what, what are you, a Los Angeles Chargers fan? I Is am. Associate? I am. Great you guess. Know? I never yeah. made the connection. Yeah. Does, that have anything to do, does that have anything to do with... Uh, not at all. Not that, at all. It doesn't? Okay. No. So, I mean, it's just funny how that worked out, but I was an LT fan, Ladinian oh, okay. Tomlinson yeah. fan, so <clears throat> that's when I started watching football, so... Chargers, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let's well, go. <laughs> football season's coming up, so it's going to be a good one. For sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, well, Ikaika, you next. Okay. Uh, where are you from? Where are you grad? Um, and what was it like growing up? Okay, I, my name is Ikaika Anton. I'm from Kailua, Oahu. I uh, graduated from St. Louis High School in 2002. And um, growing up was similar to Jordan. Um, I was... Sports, a lot of sports, um, church, um, went to Catholic school my entire life. And so there's a lot of church, um, music. My siblings are a lot older than me by a lot. My closest one in age is my sister, and she's eight years older than me. Wow. So I grew up, you know, not a lot. Shout around. out to Debbie. <laughs> yeah. I, shout out to my sister, Debbie. But um, I grew up, like, with, and I guess I kind of, had older kids teenagers as an example mm -hmm. um which was like good and and bad i guess because i was like i would find myself in s s dorm rooms and <laughs> on, in manoa in a party or like you know so but um i when i think about my childhood i i have a lot of positive memories and um i knew i always loved music mm -hmm. and um so i think that's kind of what uh, led me in this direction. Yeah. And yeah. what were the instruments you played growing up? 
Growing up, um, actually, it took me a while to actually pick up an ukulele, but ukulele was my first mm. one. I think I started picking it up around seventh or eighth grade. And um, I remember, like, my dad bringing me home f- from work all these um, ukulele, like, chord, like, song charts um, from friends, I guess, would uh, g- give him, they'd make like Xerox copies of it and I'd try to learn them and stuff. It's so before like, the internet, people. Yeah, before mm-hmm. the internet. So, yeah, it's before the internet. Like Hawaiian Superman was a huge one for me too. Mm. <laughs> to that's a, that's <laughs> to a classic one. Yeah. 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 Yep. Big tune. Yeah. Was that the first song you figured out? It was like after Surf. Surf, yeah. Like that was. Of course. I went Hawaiian Superman. Everyone knows Surf. Surf. Yeah. 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 Well, I like this already. You guys can ask questions for me. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had easier. a similar conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it was what song could you play and sing at the same time first? You know, mm-hmm. on, like there's, yeah, that's yeah. a level that you hit when you're beginning. Like, oh, you can sing it and play it and you don't mess up the strumming. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. That was We had that convo once on the bus. <laughs> sure. That's why I was thinking about that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, convos that go on, on oh, during yeah. touring now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where That's you do some do. of your podcasts? On the bus? I've, mm, I did it. I think I might have done it once on mm-hmm. the bus, um, like a couple of years back, or like maybe like a, two years back or something. But uh, la- this last tour was just in a hotel room. Oh, just okay, like okay. set it up and then just do it Talk, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Well, let, let's get to know you a little bit. Let's ask, ask Zion, where are you from? Where are you grad? And what was it like growing up? Um, so I am from Kailua also. Um, same as Ikaika. I grew up in like Echana Lakes area. Um, I graduated in 2001, a year before mm-hmm. Kikes. So I'm the oldest guy on stage. Zion's our elder. <laughs> I'm the oldest guy in the whole the freaking, in the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the wisest, um, but the handsomest. I think I used to be, and then everyone else grew up, and then now I'm like, um, and. Uh, yeah, I grew up, I was born in Texas, in Abilene. Oh, wow. My dad uh, was in the Air Force. Okay. Um, so we lived in New Mexico. Um, and then I, we moved back to, when I say back, because my dad is from uh, Kailua too, my mm-hmm. mom. But joined the military mm-hmm. and got sent to Texas. So we moved back right before first grade. And so I went to like Enchanted Lake Elementary School and then Kailua Inter and Kailua High School. Oh, okay. So, nice. And it was just playing music pretty much. Um I tried to pick up the guitar in elementary school, but it was too hard, and like I, I didn't want to go to go to lessons. You know, mm-hmm. I just want to hit, ride bike with my friends. And stuff, so. <laughs> I ride bike. No, oh, those, that's those I days. mean, Kailua is a great just, place to bike. You just go, yeah. and then you see your mom when you come home later. You yeah, know? yeah, makes sense. Yeah, or for lunch. Yeah, um, and then I picked up the ukulele, just like everyone, like walking around like mm-hmm. school around intermediate. It's like it really stuck, and then I picked up guitar again in high school. You know, and uh, it was this. Yeah, my, my parents were supportive as well. Like with these, you know, that's a big part of why even the green too is still here because of the support we've had like throughout the years, mm-hmm. like not just emotionally, but financially too from our yeah. parents and, you know, family and all that. Sure. I mean, everybody kind of knows that you need that. But yeah, yeah um, I, had a, I had a solid, um, my parents are awesome and very lucky. Um, but, you know, I mean... Like we weren't rich or anything like that, like not that kind of solid, but just a lot of love and mm-hmm. you know. You had everything you needed. It was yeah, it was unreal. Yeah, yeah. Um, just mm-hmm. grew up in in Kailua. Awesome. It was good. Yeah. So, how did you guys first connect? So I know Jordan is the newest, right? Yeah. So you what, two, what, what year did you say in your intro? For I Jordan? think I said 2017. I don't okay, know. Yeah. That's, that's a lie. right. That's that is a lie. Oh, that is, okay. No, I no, saw no. that online. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh. Jordan's been with us for a long time. 2011. 2011. 2011. Mm-hmm. 2011. Yeah. I thought it was weird. Maybe maybe I saw the one as a seven. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure Wikipedia. Oh, this is yeah, why I can't it, trust Wikipedia. Yeah. I should have uh, chat GPT it. That's no, not. not but anything. yeah, 2011, and which right. you know we started in right like we, school, we started recording our first al- album in 2009, mm-hmm. and so. Jordan, and then we released it in 2010, February 2010. So Jordan really has only like missed one year. One year. Yeah. yeah. But fun fact, Jordan was, he probably hates when we bring this up, but Jordan was the, <laughs> like our first YouTube cover. This is before he was in the band. Nice. First YouTube cover of the song Love I. 
Wait, you did it? Yeah, I did it. Bro. And if you only knew that he should have like monetized that video. <laughs> well, how many awesome. views does it have? But he took it down. I took it down. <laughs> he was shame and he. He was shamed when he joined the band and he deleted it. It's I gone. am still shamed. What? <laughs> is it, did you delete it or you just unlisted it? I unlisted it. Yeah. Oh, and so it's, it's like it's, somewhere on like somewhere? one of my what? My mom's on. old computers or we're laptops, gonna, you know. We, I gotta find gotta that thing. That we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna find find that deleted yeah. it, bro. No, bro. It's somewhere you saved, you know. It took, it took Kamaka to ask you. <laughs> right. I was, you know. See? It, it's gonna resurface. It's for sure. We're gonna find it. Yeah. Yeah. That was long before we ever knew Jordan, dude. But now he's like now he's singing on Love Eye too, so. Okay, yeah. nice. You know. Yeah, because uh, Zion was saying that they finally convinced you to sing. For sure. Yeah, it's a big yeah. deal. Yeah. It's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. We've been All asking these years. Because we knew he could sing the whole time. Mm-hmm. And he just didn't really. Yeah, and my dad's been, to. you know, giving them crap every time <laughs> about, you know, me not singing. I'm like, oh, yeah. you know. So Is that why you him. took it down? Because you didn't want them to hear how good you were? Uh, I mean. Be- before they asked you to do more work? <laughs> no, not really. I was just, you know, I don't, I don't even know why I took it down. I wish it was still up, actually. We thought know? about that possibility. Yeah. <laughs> we would have a lot of issues. Okay. You should have it's monetized funny. it. I talk, and I talked to your dad last night at the party. And I was like. Uncle, so we finally got him to sing, you know. You've been asking us all these years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When are you going to let my son sing? I know, I know. Now he's always like, when are you going to let my son sing? Like, Uncle Joe, we've been asking him forever. He he don't want to sing. Well, we can get a sample real quick, huh? A little acapella. (laughs) Maybe after that. (laughs) Shout out to my dad. Yeah, yeah. Joe Espinosa. If you had alcohol in these drinks, maybe, yeah. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) For sure. Yeah. Okay, so on Wikipedia, it says drums 2017 to present. So... We gotta. Somebody gotta change that. Somebody that responsible change. for that. Oh my Are God. we supposed to be responsible for that? Anybody. It's no, like anybody. Can, like, anybody can change it. Yeah. I could do it. Like but, a Wikipedia. Uh, or yeah, like, if right? I can edit it right now. Oh, yes. bro, I'm not logged in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just say I edit. Somebody yeah. out there. Somebody listening to this, go and edit it. Whoever put 2017 and go 2011. Yeah, yeah. So nobody else get. I fell so everybody could stand for the next podcast. Yeah. See. Okay, There's so, more than one reason why we're here. Right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm happy that we figured that out. <laughs> so you two were in a band together before. Mm-hmm. And yep. When, yep. when was that? Oh, gosh, that was high school days. Like, yeah. gra- like after graduation, <laughs> probably we took it a little bit more serious. Uh, right. I used to be in a band called Urban Rhythm. <laughs> and Zion <laughs> was, I was laugh. laughing. I can't say that name without laughing. <laughs> but because um, it was Urban with an H. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like. I don't know. We're kids. You know Standard, I mean? of course. But, um, yeah. Awesome. Zion was in a band called Stir Crazy, and we we're both like Kailua, like Waimanalo bands. And back in those days, and I, gosh, I say back in those days, but <laughs> there was a lot of like backyard parties, like mm-hmm. high school graduation parties that yeah, yeah. required no invitation almost. Your sole purpose on the weekend was to like find these parties and, you know, like we were tapping shoulders for <laughs> alcohol back then, like trying yeah. to, you know, Bringing back memories. Just, Your sole purpose just that is just that pack of Bud funny. Light, you know what I just mean? Just wandering, oh, yeah, yeah, wandering trying to find like the the parties. But you know, we kind of grew up doing that in in high school, and then we there would be bands, and you could drive around Kailua, and you would you would just honestly you would look down every road and like see if there's a line of cars and people mm. on the street, and then if you could hear like natural vibrations playing. Or yeah. something, or like Soul Free, or Ukla, or Ukla the Moss. Mm-hmm. You'd walk like, up, you'd be like, oh, yeah, "Gotta find parking." <laughs> it's raging. That's so wild, bro. Get out of my car. I hear like Ukla, and I'm like chicken skin. You know? yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're in like back roads, yeah. Manalo. So that kind of like inspired us to like take it more serious, and like for for us, like that first thing was like to get hire to like for a friend to hire us to just play at their party mm. and we we did that and we did that all the time and and then eventually it was like oh we got to play in a, a bar you know like like board riders used to be called in Kailua used to be called jarons i remember always passing by this they would have like the weekly lineup from like thursday friday saturday who was playing and i remember i always wanted to like be on that mm. list you know and and we did that you know one day and so we just kind of kept yeah. like rehearsing mm-hmm. and more club bar gigs and little milestones little like, milestones here and there you know mm-hmm. yeah and were yeah. uh were you doing a bunch of other things in the band or were you doing what you're doing right now yeah yeah i mean z was playing so, guitar yeah 
I don't know. In, in, I don't know. How did it even cross? How did even Urban Urban Rhythm and Stir Crazy you cross? Because oh, because I started singing and playing other. guitar. Yeah, yeah. Because Kaina, yeah, and Kaina Ricky. and Ricky. Shout out to Kaina and Ricky. And, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, we had mutual friends from Kailua, and and they went we to went come different schools, and they, they went, went to come out. Yeah, yeah. St. Louis. I went to Kailua High School. Oh, okay, yeah. and so. Um, Remember, I think they picked me up from work one night. Yeah, yeah. I was working Buzz's Steakhouse. I was dishwashing. Wow. Yeah. And I did not stay there long because it was it was a horrible job. And I was too young to, <laughs> to handle it. So um, anyway, they picked me up because I had my bike. I rode my bike to work and like threw it on the top of like the yeah. racks of the, of the Cherokee and went to Lani Kai, shoot the loop. Um, and then we just went and like we're cruising. And like just talking story. And it was like, I remember like Kike saying something. Oh, I wonder, I wonder why we're why we're even here right now. Like, one, I wonder why this is even happening right now. And I remember thinking, this is, that's like a funny thing to say, you know? And, and then, but ever since then, like we started playing music together. And then those milestones that like, I was talking about that he was, that he brought up. It's like, we always hit them. And we always like, me and Kike's always like, brah. Like when something <laughs> cool happens in it, cause it always kind of goes back to like the beginning of mm-hmm. like, you know? So I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, things that, that mean a lot or, you know, like selling out the OC fair, headlining it this last summer we did it the year before with jay boog and um it was kind of a co-headline this year it was more of ours so like that was a big deal for us you know and we needed the support of all the bands on the bill but you know something like that it's just like we're like you know mm-hmm. we try and recognize and be thankful for it in the moment i think that's a big part of it too so um but yeah it all kind of started like back that night sort of wow. you know and we just kept playing music yeah. together and we just stayed together. And, and then Brad too from Kailua, Brad was around and he was, he joined up with Ukla. Like he was just such a, such a beast that um, he kind of joined up with the bands we were looking up to. And as our bands kind of fizzled out and they sort of started morphing into something else, we kind of came together. Mm-hmm. You know? Awesome. Yeah. I, it's yeah. just like the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You guys yeah. had your solo movies. <laughs> and then <laughs> you came, you had but the better. Avenger one. Better, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way it's, better. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's, do you ever trip out thinking back and reminiscing to those days and seeing where you're at right Bruh. now? I mean, yeah. you guys, yeah. at least to me, probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, band out of Hawaii. Cause, and, and I know that because I lived abroad. I lived, and I, so I would talk with other people not from here. And the one band that universally was known was the Green. Oh, right. That's freaking scary. It's all the, the college cool. students. <laughs> they're like, oh, I love, yeah. oh, you're from Hawaii. Yeah, I jammed it to the Green all the time in nice. my dorm room, you know? That's so cool. Like, yeah, it's awesome. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. no, it is crazy. Yeah. To, to hear that is, is like awesome. And we're humbled and thankful. And we just try sure. and, I mean, we're just like, you know, like, we're thankful that we get to make music as like our living and mm-hmm. you know people are happy that about that and it's like we're just trying to like you know uh Im- like protect it and mm-hmm. like embrace it and like you know um just do right by it i mm-hmm. guess and just keep going really i think that's the way to do it you know but we're having fun though you know we're super blessed and super thankful so yeah it's cool to but see that you guys go way back to we do. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we are getting into like uncle status. Yeah, we're old. <laughs> so no, we are, we are going hey, to Jordan home. said earlier, he, wasn't, he doesn't want to use the U word. Yeah. 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 Speak for your guys. So. Yeah. Yeah. Speak for Jordan. He's young. Yeah. We always call him the young guy, but he never calls us the old guys. But he can if you want. No, <laughs> never. Never. <will>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so let's talk about the history of the green, you know, from the start and then here, you know, you played in the, some of the biggest venues, Waikiki Shell. Mm-hmm. A um, lot of places outside of Hawaii. Um, what was the inception of it? So you, so mm-hmm. had Caleb and JP, mm-hmm. they were cousins, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you two were in the band. You guys came together. Brad came, and then Jordan came a year after. Yeah. Right. And like, what was the conversations like? Like, hey, you guys so, want to join a band? <laughs> yeah. So it's funny because like, kind of what me and Zion were talking about earlier, um, like with our friends from Kamehameha that we started our was in like our first bands and stuff like that um, was actually how I met JP. And so JP um, had reached out to one of them because the hit their band, Caleb and JP's band, their like family band, Next Generation, needed a keyboardist. Mm. And at that time I was playing keyboards in Stir Crazy. And so we like, we, I ended up 
uh, playing keyboards in Next Generation. And then even Zion ended up playing guitar in Next Generation. Brad ended up playing bass in Next Generation. Oh, so you can see okay. like this, you know, band sort of coming together. But this is how we started working with each other in this formation. Mm -hmm. And over time, like the, the green still didn't form yet. But over time, you know, some of us would we would do various like we would back musicians that would come here from international, from like Jamaica or or other places and um it was usually some formation of like what me and brad or me and zion you know even jp sometimes and um so it was like and, and then as zion mentioned when our bands like next generation stir crazy uh brad was doing his own thing like when those things kind of started fizzling out we had so we we continued to work on original music or mm -hmm. started working on more original music yeah and that essentially between like jp caleb zion myself became what was the green's first album and brad yeah mm -hmm. became the green's first album and leslie and leslie yeah and mm -hmm. so leslie Diazo, who is um he's like he's he's like our he's like our He's like a member of the Green. We consider mm -hmm. him like he plays drums for J Boog. He's also the drummer for Hot Rain Band, which is J Boog's band, and legendary drummer, producer, and he's always been with us every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And so Great he's guy. very much mm -hmm. a part of Love of the band. If we're ever at the same festival or if he's at our show, our you know our prayer, our huddle before every show that we do, our prayer, and um, Leslie will always come in and like he always takes the reins of, of mm. that. Cause that was his role yeah. before he started. He was actually the drummer before Jordan mm -hmm. was the drummer. Mm -hmm. And, um, but anyway, yeah. So that music that we worked on, um, pre the green became, we, we just decided like, we're going to, we're going to come together mm -hmm. and we're going to release this music. And I think Zion at the time was on the road in the mainland playing mm -hmm. guitar for like, uh, Mystic Roots band, who's still they're still around touring today, and Pato Bantan, you know the legendary Pato Bantan, and and like, you know, I remember talking to Zion, and he was on tour, and we, you know, that was like <laughs> a glorious thing, right? At at that time, yeah. we haven't we had we hadn't gone anywhere near the states like playing music, and I remember just asking Zion like, "What's it like? What are you guys doing?" And it sounded like he was just raging and <laughs> partying, which is probably like what it was because I think that's everyone's first like. You kind of think like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna go on the road and you're just gonna party and get wasted," and you know, it's like, honestly, like I think that is a part of it at some to some extent when you first go out there. Yeah, especially like, when you you're young. Yeah, especially when you're young. Yeah, but you yeah, can yeah. never yeah. sustain that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. and but. Zion, like as we would talk about this project we had back home that we are calling the just, green. I would just keep calling them. Yeah. I'd be and I and to check in and tell them what's going on. I'd be like, bro, kikes were in Florida. I'm singing whatever um the one one of the songs. Yeah. And I was and they were like kind of yeah, checking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be talking to him about the green stuff and JP too. And they'd be they'd be like, We're doing we're we're doing it, bro. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna come home, bro. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are cool, but I've been waiting for like I want to do this with with the boys. Mm. So I want to do what I'm doing out here with, you know, wow. um, Kikes and we're just doing it. Caleb had, Caleb was at like a point where he could have easily just went solo on his own, mm -hmm. and he didn't want. It. He wanted to, he wanted to stick with the boys too. You know, he wanted mm -hmm. to kind of, he wanted to be in a band and not be solo. And like, yeah, um, have JP I, there, yeah. and have uh, us there, and you know. Kimo, JP's brother, who's mm -hmm. also Caleb's cousin, who was our manager for a long time, he was around mm -hmm. too. So he toured with us a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, it was just like we had each other around, you know, like. That's so cool. That's yeah. like a total photo so, boys moment. Yeah. And, and so he, so he <laughs> comes Bro, home yeah. and FDB. that kind of <laughs> like it locks was. in the, the deal. And now we have like, you know, we we put out like the four of us was like the album cover had a picture of like the four of us, Misa and JP. And, and Caleb, but it was, you know, in the background, there was, it was still Brad and Leslie. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of people. It was Capena de Lima. Wow. Um, yeah. And mm -hmm. um, Lucas Hom was on keyboards. He plays. Lucas Hom is yeah. another official yeah. member who's not really yeah. with us, but mm -hmm. is like on stage, but is still there. Okay. So, so how Lucas. did you guys come up with the name? Who, who was the inventor of the green? In, um, I remember we had a, 
a show in in Kona, and it was one of our very first shows. I believe it was opening for Catch a Fire, and this is actually before like Zion came home, and um, we were trying to. The, well, the promoter needed a name for what they were gonna call us. Like they asked us to play. Oh, this you didn't even have without a name even at that knowing. Point. Yeah, <laughs> this is for the this poster. Me, yeah, yeah, this band was, and um, who gets to open for Catch a Fire? Who is so, this? So yeah, so no, I remember like being on the phone with JP, and um, he was just like, if you guys know JP, he's like, he was just like on the phone going like, oh, what about this thing? What about this thing? What about this thing? And I'd be like, oh yeah, that sounds kind of cool. And like, be like, hang up and be like, wait, well, what about this thing? What about this thing? You know? <laughs> and then I remember he said the green and that was, that was like one of, like a light bulb went mm -hmm. off and it was like, that sounds oh, right. sick because it's like, it's kind of like whatever you want it to be kind of thing. And yeah. it's nothing really specific, but we know that like a lot of people can either like relate to it somehow, yeah. you know, or, but it purely, sounded good yeah you know and, and so we 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 sent that that to the promoter and then it was it was the green does it have yeah. anything to do with anything herbal yes. or medicinal yeah yes good for you organic yeah, um, yeah. so malaki tea of it. that's why it's my Malachi favorite tea. one tea, that's what we're talking about right yeah and yeah the, peppermint, <laughs> the mint one the is, pepper, is right, my right. favorite one the pineapple. okay okay yep. we're on the same page right yeah we're talking yep. about malaki tea here yep we yes. we <laughs> bro we did a um, we played at a school in Ka a few different schools in Kauai, like acoustic stuff, and um, the kids would ask questions. And one of the <laughs> one of the schools was outside, and you already know what I'm getting to. But yeah. It was outside, and it was beautiful. Just their school, little little small area was dope. And they're like, "So what is the what is why did you name it the green? What is the green?" And we're just like, we're "Like you know, we go all over the place, you know, and, and we want to represent Hawaii. But what do you see when you look around? You know, and they all went green." <laughs> like exactly, <Nice. laughs> but but then that goes back to what you guys were saying. It's yeah. whatever That's you want it, it to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Hawaii too, and like yeah. we we've got we did all kinds of association the research and what green means in the color and, and mm -hmm. all that. And like, even in reggae music, like the red, golden, green, you know mm -hmm. what what the green aspect of it and mm -hmm. you know it's like it yeah it was. It's just like yeah, yeah. Awesome. There wasn't anything yeah. we we're like. No, no, that's not. That's yeah. We we like that it had all those yeah. different meanings. It's and kind it of ambiguous. Yeah, it's exactly. ambiguous. Yeah. And, yeah. But it would. But for the kids to be able to recognize it as like land and I know that's exactly what like I love that. we relate to it a mm -hmm. lot as you know and it yeah. it just had like an appeal for being very, you know being ambiguous as it is like it that had some type of appeal in it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. But let's be I'm honest. Happy with it. I'm happy with it. Let's be yeah. real. <laughs> let's I'm go back to it. the, what was it, herbal? Yeah. 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 Organic. I will yeah. say it. that's the number one question, right? Yeah. So the green, is it the, does that have anything to do with the uh, mamaki? No. Come on. We know. We know. You know. You know. We know. <laughs> Oh. So Jordan, how did you end up connecting with them? Because they oh, they man. had a drummer before, yep. and then you came on. By, it's a great by, story. By the time you came on, they they already won uh, iTunes album of the year, reggae sure. album of the year. So they're yep. they're already something. Yep. And um, like I said, I was playing for a smaller band, um, you know, Rudical Rhythm. Actually, that wasn't a Rudical gig that time. It was actually just like a little side band with some Rudical at band Tropics. members. We're at Tropics oh, on board, and um. I think it was like the second to the last song. I think we were like close to, to being done. And I seen JP and Caleb walk in. I think Les, yeah, Les was there too, the old drummer. And um, I was packing up all my stuff, you know, packing up all my drums, bringing it to my car. And uh, JP. I want to interrupt you. Real yeah, quick. go ahead. Go ahead. Before he continues that story, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, you. go ahead. We were about to embark on. <laughs> Bro, yeah, this, a, is, this is important. A go ahead, Kikes. Two and a, like yep. a half month tour. Of this an album the, release, like tour. Our, okay. our album was coming. The first out, album, oh, second album. album. It was Warp. It was a. Second, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. It was. Um, it was a long. It was, was Hawaii tour, 13. Was it? Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't Warp tour. Okay, but oh, it was. It was, it was a long one. It was seven it weeks. Was seven weeks. It was yeah. seven it was weeks. Shwayze, right? Wasn't that the one? No, so, it was the giant panda gorilla oh, dub squad. Right, right. That was <laughs> my first tour. Leslie, who was our drummer, um, he, I don't want to say like. He couldn't come anymore. Okay. Like about two Let's weeks just put out. Let's it that way. <laughs> 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 two, like two weeks out or something, he couldn't come anymore. So we were like, we, had obligations. we were like, what are we going to do? So right? crazy. Okay. No, yeah. And then, you know, just putting away my drums and I literally just, you know, turned around and 
JP, Les, and Caleb was behind, and they were like, hey, what's up, bro? You know, saying hi to each other. He's like, the JP asked me, he's like, hey, bro, what are you doing for the next seven weeks? I'm like, bro, working, you know? <laughs> I don't even like, know what I'm doing tomorrow I have a job, for breakfast. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's like, bro, yeah. like, bro, it was crazy. Like, it was mind-blowing, you know? And he asked me, what, bro, you want to go tour? I'm like, wait, what, bro? Like, mind-blowing, you know? I was, I could, I was tripping, and... I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm working, you know. He's like, yeah, well, fuck, you know, you got to quit, you know, like, let, let, come on the road. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was tripping, and he looked at Les, and he, he, you know, he asked Les, what, should we should we get Jordan? And Les was like, yeah, let's get Jordan, you know, and I'm I'm tripping at this point, you mm -hmm. know, and they're like, okay, you know, I'll call you tomorrow morning. JP was like, I'll call you tomorrow morning. We'll try to make this work, you know, and whatnot. And That's so why, how old are you? This is 07, right? I mean, no. sorry, 11, right? 11, so yeah, one year out of high school. So I was like 19. So like 19. Yeah, like you 18, didn't really 19. know them either, yeah? I didn't really know. I didn't know Caleb. I didn't mm -hmm. know Caleb. I knew of Les, you mm -hmm. know? Of course, I looked up to him, you know, a lot. So, I mean, I knew JP only, really. Yeah, you so, know? so you grad 2010? 2010. 2010. Okay. I'm yeah. 2011 grad, so we're... Oh, all right on. Yeah, so I mean... I had like a, what, like a couple weeks, boys? Like a, a week or two to, you, you know... Yeah, but you didn't have a rehearsal didn't I didn't even know these guys yet you yeah. know what we I mean on the airport curb <laughs> oh crazy wow, that's wild I was working at Subway at the time how's that bro I was did he still smell like Subway artist. when he came to tour <laughs> oh, he, he came with like <laughs> Subway <laughs> gift cards bro, you walk in bro. there one minute you come out smelling like Subway for the next week <laughs> so wild we had Subway gift cards that oh, first nice. tour so so yeah I had like a week like a week and a half to you know explain to Subway you know like my my job and my family like they were tripping at the time. They didn't know who the green was, you know, not, I mean, nobody really did on my, like in my family and stuff. So what? Yeah, my risky. mom was the first person I told, you know, I went home that night. I was like, Hey mom, I woke her up. I was like, woke her up. I woke her up, bro. You <laughs> yeah. didn't hear about that? Like I woke no. up my mom. I went in her bed. I was like, bro, JP asked me, JP that asked me to go like, on tour, you know, it's just like, who's JP? Like, who's the green, you know, <laughs> tripping, you know? Why do you smell like weed? Yeah. <laughs> what is that smell? What's that earthy right? smell? It's like weed yeah. in Subway. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So I mean, I made it. I mean, I I made it happen. Obviously, I quit Subway, and you know, JP kept on following up on me. Like, hey, are you are you coming? Are you ready? Like, I'm like, dude, like I I didn't. I didn't even rehearse with nobody. Like, I didn't even know the band. Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, can I interrupt again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you tell the subway story with Uncle Danny? Oh, bro. Yes. Uh, this is a, yes, I'm sorry, guys. Uncle Danny, yes. Uncle Danny sorry. Kennedy, who is Manal Company. Mm. Manal um, Kennedy. He's OG. He's, he's Caleb. Legend. Caleb's here. mom's brother and JP's dad's brother. Okay. So, that's the JP and Caleb are first cousins. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so Next Generation band was was Next Generation because they were oh the Next, the next Generation, generation from Manal. Yeah. It was like the protégés, the, oh. the, the nephews yeah. and everything. So like if if Dylan Pakele was a little older, he would have been in exactly yeah. in that right. exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then um, but Uncle Dan walks into Jordan Subway, and this was like the week <laughs> that you know I this was like my last week Uncle at Subway. Dan, he knows us all you know? very very well. He knows yeah. Leslie. He knows the band. Yep. He knows the songs. He knew he heard them all before they came mm -hmm. out. Like. He's very but he familiar. doesn't know Jordan. He doesn't know Jordan. <laughs> doesn't know me, bro. He's just going to Subway to get a sandwich right He now. walks in. He's standing in line, you know. <laughs> and I know who Uncle Danny is, you know. You you grow up listening to Manal Company. And you know who he is and stuff like that. And I know who he is, you know. And I knew that was JP's uncle, you know. And I, I had the honor to make his sandwich you know so <laughs> i make his sandwich what was his order you remember bruh, honestly people ask me that i don't know it might have been a cold cut trio bro <laughs> I, I, it might have been a guarantee wasn't a hot sandwich it was a cold sandwich for sure guarantee, guarantee. never had to heat him up no never oh, bro man. uncle dan was kind of simple but anyways i'm making his sandwich and i'm kind of looking at him you know making the sandwich i'm looking at him i'm like should i tell him like he's gonna you know <laughs> I had to. I, you know, I looked at him and said, like, hey, Uncle Danny, I, don't, I know you don't know me, but <laughs> I'm going on tour with the Green. I'm going to play with JP them. And he looks at me and he's like, what the hell? The subway worker is telling me that he's going to go play with my nephew them on tour, you know? I was just crying. I'll never forget his face, bro. He, he looked at me like, dude, this kid's weird, you know? Like, what the hell, you know? That was one of the best uh, moments ever because Uncle Danny was kind of like tripping, you know. Shout out to Uncle Danny. Love yeah, you, Uncle. Yeah. 
That story is awesome. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just Love going into the subway, just be like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go play on tour with the Green." <laughs> Bro, yeah, they exactly. didn't say like, "No, you're not." Like, what was it Pro City Subway? They have no. a drummer, Kapale, bro. Kapolei. I used to work at Kapale one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like great story. Uh, okay. Um, so, Pomo, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything <laughs> but uh, jalapenos. I was, <laughs> was going to eat it now and take it out. I'll take that to go. <laughs> Brian, I'm pretty sure he called like JP or Caleb like when he got out the story. You know, he's like, hey, the subway worker is telling me that he's going to go on tour with you guys. Is that true? <laughs> And I, he got hit with the, yeah, right, it's true, you know, like, that is the guy. Like, oh, that's an amazing so story. So, yeah, I rode up to the airport, and I, you know, I, that's the first time I met the boys, and it was crazy. It was such a crazy thing. No rehearsal, big Pure Law Festival in, in Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. First sound check. Tour. Sound yeah. check was the first rehearsal, and sound oh. checks at a festival only last, like, you know, not not so long. They don't last too long. So. Super crazy. I had one like rehearsal three or four with songs. less Yeah, at... What house was that? I think that was in Palolo, bro. The Those Palolo houses, house, yeah. yeah. Above the Mata. Had like a one-on-one, -on -one, you mm -hmm. know, little rehearsal with Les. And he was, you know, telling me intros and outros and stuff like that. But I never really, you know, practiced with the guys. So it was crazy. It was mind-blowing. So crazy. crazy, bro. Yeah. But and you never looked back. Exactly. That, I mean, at house. what? What were you saying? 19 or 20? Yeah. That, was like that's 19. brave. Super crazy. Quit, I know, done. that's kind of nuts. Like, if you that, think no about rehearsal, it, like, super crap. wild. No rehearsal. No rehearsal. Yeah. You, you yeah. knew their songs already, so. For sure. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I mean, I released Love Eye on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was already. I, well, when you know, did you guys find out about that? Like, not we even still. Bro, actually, I think um, we found out when we they were telling us who might be playing drums and then sent that link to, like, but it's funny because as this airport thing, like when I rolled up to the airport, like everybody was kind of like, you know, like they had like, like regular faces. But Brad, our bass player, he's kind of looking at me like, who is this guy? You know, he never <laughs> did. He never he did. Still look looks, at, he still looks at you. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. He, he still yeah, doesn't know still, you're the For sure, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same. You know. Yeah. <laughs> He still doesn't know. <laughs> Super crazy. Though. Wow, that's, yeah. a, but thankful, that's boys. an incredible story. Unreal. Yeah, he wow. saved us though. Jordan saved us. Yeah, bro. he did. He saved the whole tour. Yeah, it was <laughs> it's meant to be. So, such a wild so if he didn't join, like, what would have happened? You, you just wouldn't have a drummer. Would have we had like another a another possibility? Oh, okay. um, Luke Dario mm -hmm. plays. Um, he plays with Koloi Kai. He's a Koloi right? Kai. Yep. He used yeah. to play Rebel Soldiers. He mm -hmm. played in Stir Crazy. He He's was a OP drummer Picker's Stir drummer. Crazy. Oh, okay. He's original yeah. P Picker's Super yeah. sick drummer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, ridiculous drummer. Yeah. Great drummer. But um, no, we ended up kind of doing a little back and forth because Leslie wasn't sure. And and then we ended up scoring Jordan, you know. Just it was just like a right place. Right For time sure. kind of thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Same they could have picked any other drummer, you know, and it's it's crazy. I was just at the right place at the right time. You and your 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 life literally changed from that moment. For sure. That, For sure. That's bro. insane. It's super crazy. It just takes that one mm -hmm. moment, right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't so, say we could have picked any drummer because yeah. we were we were stressing, bro. Mm -hmm. We were scrambling to try and fill mm -hmm. the spot with the right person to take on a we gotta live together on the bus. Yeah. So were we even on a bus? What were we on? Bandwagon. Bandwagon, Band wagon, bro. Yeah, it's like a big RV sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, no, he, he saved us. Bro. And the, that's like <laughs> a perfect example. Like if you, you know, somebody could hear that story and be like, wow, you got so lucky that they found mm -hmm. you and now you're with the green. For sure. But this, that quote, like luck is just preparation meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's exactly because the opportunity bro. was there, but you was already prepared because you already had the right. skills. Right. And like you played a whole tour with no rehearsal exactly so because of you Super prepared crazy. it was like that this is that living example of For that sure. quote very that's thankful. Why it's so very cool thankful. to see that yeah yeah right on yeah, yeah. it was special and it, and it went so well the first gig went so well and it was so awesome we were just like give it up for our jump <laughs> you know never played with us we were together you know blah, blah blah it was just like it was it went so good it was just like it felt right yeah boom, automatic vibes yeah. Yeah. yeah especially yeah. on the like when when you're on the road having the right you know, collection of people together is, is, is like some, you don't always have to have people you're this close with, you know, cause it's like that you can't expect that mm -hmm. all the time, but it's really nice when you, when you do. Yeah. And it didn't take very long for Jordan to just freaking, uh, like, Match it was with instant. Everybody, yeah. like, yeah, we had all the same jokes right away. It was just all <laughs> like meant to be. Yeah. It's back. like, you know, like your ab playing ability is like second to like 
the the vibes yeah. and the the relationship and mm-hmm. the bonds that you have. I think yeah. and. And yeah, we're not here because we're the we're we're the best. And, I, and Jordan's an amazing drummer. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying he's not. Jordan is an amazing drummer, but like he, you can All be an us. amazing drummer and then but be a but not not you know like mesh well with each yeah, other. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, so when you're when you get along so good, like we're all brothers, you know. So mm-hmm. when you get along so good, it's like it's the best possible like scenario for being on the road. Mm-hmm. For 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 being you know for working and meeting and planning and how how this is like our livelihood like of course like you know you want the vibes to be right in business so many things can go wrong with really mm-hmm. your relationships but uh, so it's important to you know it's important to like find those those people those guys that um, or or girls you know that really like that you really like connect with and get mm-hmm. along with and stuff because it, it, it matters, you know, like it matters a lot for sure. Yeah. And you know, we live in tight, like relationships. Say, yeah. We live in tight, we live in a, a, a bus on the road. Right. So mm-hmm. it's like, <laughs> you gotta be cool with everything. Yeah. Well, it's probably like actual <laughs> brothers where you fight and you argue. Yeah, and, right. Yeah. yeah. That's mine. Mm-hmm. Get away from you're mm-hmm. in my yeah. space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That, that's how, you know, yeah. when you can argue with somebody and just be like, Hey, what, what do you want from the store? Yeah. Or what do you want to yeah, eat? Yeah. That's how you know you're yeah. Ohana. Yeah. 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 Bro, pick up your shit. Yeah. <laughs> and pick something on this Uber Eats. Or yeah. <laughs> it's funny though. The closer you get to people, the more mean you are to people. I feel like that's how I'm with like my siblings or whatever. That's I think true. it's not necessarily you're trying to be mean. It's just you're more comfortable with them. Mm. So yeah. you can tell them straight up. Yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. as passive with them. I think yeah. that's what it is. But that shows you care because you're yeah. not gonna BS them and let them go down the wrong. You know, yeah. like, mm-hmm. like get your get get your stuff together, bro. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's important. Right on. So yeah. right before we get into Instagram questions, because we have a bunch, uh, nice. I want. I think what's really cool about you guys and what makes the green really unique is that you're like everybody is ancillary pieces, but like still like the main. Everyone's the main. There's no like just one person star of the show. You guys, you guys kind of switch off at like different songs and you have a different oh, yeah. arrangement. I think that's yeah. what's really cool. It's like four lead vocali- mm-hmm. vocalist, vocals, vocalist, vocalist, um, vocalist. And it just works so well. So how do you decide who sings what, who writes what? Because you are all songwriters, yeah. singers, instrumentalists. You guys can do it every, all of it, right? So how do you decide what to do? Jordan just decides. Yeah. <laughs> he spins the drumstick. <laughs> yeah. so, you didn't know that, bro? No. Right, right. Just you. For some reason, it never lands on Jordan, huh? Perfect. That's weird. That's, no wonder. <laughs> now it makes sense right. all these years. Yeah. He finally let Kaika spin the stick. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, we, we just, um, we write, we usually bring stuff to the table and it's, if we, because we all sing, that's that's 100% true. And it's a part of what makes the green the green. Mm-hmm. But Caleb is definitely the lead singer, you know. Like Caleb is like the front man, basically. Um, but we, we all get a chance to kind of shine. So it's, it's good fun and it takes a little bit of pressure off mm-hmm. Caleb. Um, but we all bring songs to the table. On this last tour, we were like, one night in the bus, we were like, hey, let's listen to, I was like, I want to hear all you guys, what you have for the next album, you know, like, because we always record at, at home and, you know, our little home studio setups and stuff. So we're listening to everyone's basically demos for our own stuff that we bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Some of it is just a voice note with a guitar and a melody. Some of it is a full track with horns and, mm-hmm. you know, that is self-produced, not mastered. But, um, you know, and we'll kind of bring it. And, you know, a lot of times, like, like, we'll, like, Kikes will have stuff written for him to sing. I'll have stuff written for me to sing. But... A lot of times we'll bring stuff that we want Caleb to sing, or mm-hmm. I want Ikaika to sing, or I want a collab, or Jordan too. Like Jordan has songs that like he's gonna be singing, or maybe might be collab with you know. So we mm-hmm. just kind of we bring it to the table because we are creative and <laughs> we write stuff. But um, yeah, well, a little sneak peek. Yeah, I exclusively mean, here on the oh, Keep It Up oh, podcast. Oh. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan sings now, you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, he does harmonies and other stuff. Yeah, does it matter? It, it just like for a song when you write it, it depends on somebody's tone or how, or just like maybe what the song is saying. You decide because I know you had a a music video last year that you really mm-hmm. was it last year, two years ago? Yeah, two years oh, ago, two years ago, two years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I think it all. I think it kind of just it depends. Like if mm. if you wrote it, then normally you kind of wrote it in your for your singing voice. Mm-hmm. You know, like um, I think the music video you're referring to is Young Man. Mm-hmm. I yeah, definitely like wrote song. that. That song was very personal to me. Yeah. So I I definitely wrote that song for me to sing. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can be writing a song and you can be singing in something like hey, like like somebody who sings in a lower like register, like Zion. Uh, you know, like. You could, you could think about Zion could probably be writing in like think like okay I know I'm singing this song in like a higher register so like maybe I'm envisioning like Caleb or Ikaika singing this mm-hmm. part or something like that and yeah. I think that's kind of how it comes to fruition and and then and then again once we bring it to the table then only then it kind of now it's like it can be affected by everyone's input and ideas mm-hmm. and so the version that if we release a song really you're hearing probably like fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth version of that song Mm -hmm. and um what we get to a point where you know the we're comfortable with what we we did and our ideas are in it and like Mm -hmm. we're happy with it so it it takes it usually starts with the writing process though and that's Mm -hmm. and that is i feel like what makes us special is not only that there's four singers but you know when it comes to writing the style is like in the writing and the mm. melodies, you know what mm. I mean? So we get our s- different individual styles from, from the writing process, I think. And because if I was going to sing like Caleb's melodies, it would be like, Oh, that sounds like a song that Caleb would have wrote. Mm-hmm. And pri- mm. it probably, he probably did write it, it if it sounded that way. So like, I think it also, well, you might not writing. notice unless yep. you, you know, like the style, you might not notice mm. the writing song. Be like, that sounds like, yeah. that seems like Caleb wrote those lyrics, but he like us singing them. Yeah. yeah. Most people don't notice necessarily. Yeah, they probably don't notice like, you know, and, but yeah, I think it starts in the writing and then we usually come with the idea like, I'm going to sing this and, or like, I'm going to sing it, but I want Zion to sing on this part, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I think some people think it's harder than it is because Mm -hmm. we all sing. Like we always get asked Mm -hmm. like, like, how do you decide who sings or like what, you know, or like what songs go on the album, Mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, we never fight over it or anything because there's no, Caleb has no ego whatsoever. And none of us really, I mean, fight over like the opportunity to have our songs on the Mm -hmm. album, like the best songs just end up on the album. So it's always been pretty easy, you know? It's like, we just go in the studio and make the songs and like (laughs) it, it's pretty easy. It's it's like, you know, it's not hard for us to decide. I'm not saying making the music is easy. Mm-hmm. I'm saying deciding what mm-hmm. goes on there. It just decides itself. You just basically yeah. like, like, we're not like, oh man. And I don't if you're going to like, you know? and if you're going to like, if we ever like are trying to like fight for something, it's it's usually when somebody writes something for someone else and that other person's like, all nah, right, you should just sing it. You know, like, <laughs> no, nah, you should sing it. Like, all right. Yeah. Ah, all right. Whatever. Yeah. 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 So, yeah that- I guess so. Yeah, that does happen too. Yeah, but, I was know, gonna, I was gonna easy. say that, say that. It sounds like you all are very mature and have no ego and pride and just whatever's best for the collective. Mm-hmm. You know, not like I want to be the yeah. star of this song because yeah. there are you have a bunch of songs where a, a few of you are the leads in that mm-hmm. song, which mm-hmm. is so rare. You just you don't mm-hmm. really see that. Well, we looked, I mean, we like Catch a Fire was the first gig that the Green ever had, you know, and it's like, all, they all sing. Yeah. It's like, we, 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 you know, Monao Company, they all sing. It's like, we kind of were always into harmonies, like yep. every, because also like how Ikaika was saying, when artists would come to Hawaii and we'd have to back them up and play, we would like, we, not most bands wouldn't learn their harmonies, but we mm-hmm. would try and learn their harmonies, you know? And so it was like, it was just like something we're into and, mm-hmm. you know, but. I think we're we're very lucky though that it works so smoothly, you know. Mm-hmm. Like we're just we're very blessed to have like the yeah. vibes we do and we fight here and there, but usually not about that's not really the stuff we like beef about, you know. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever took the last uh chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. What do we what do we What was even... the biggest fight that Green ever had? What did we fight oh. about? Oh. Um, we don't we honestly not many fights. Not many fights, sorry. That's good. That's oh no, no yeah. worries. Yeah, it's just the ratings will be way lower if you don't. I tell know. Me anything controversial, you know. I know. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we'll make something up if I get if I get something up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, I don't know. There's never been any blowouts. We definitely have. So we have like eruptions, and then we'll usually talk about it yeah. after and try and like mature men squash it. Yeah. Um, in the, back in the day, we would just 
ignore it and let it sort of <laughs> float away in the wind. Like immature. <laughs> yeah. Because until it disappears, it just builds up. Yeah, yeah. It would definitely not be like, anything serious, dude. It'd be like it'd be like you're not singing that harmony party like you were yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's like we, we, that's we already like. talked about. Yeah, something we already talked about. In the, so by the next yeah. day, it's fixed, right? Because you got to do it right yeah, the next yeah. day. So it's yeah. like, yep. Right on. But, uh, really, yeah. If there's anything, it's like nothing <laughs> major at all. Yeah. yeah, or somebody taking too long in the bathroom, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Who takes the longest uh, in the bathroom? Uh, I don't mm. know, but I, I gotta be up there. I gotta <laughs> be up there. What do you think? I've never asked Caleb, you guys. Bro, Caleb. Caleb, yeah, yeah true. I, I was Caleb. gonna say Caleb, Caleb for sure. A, Caleb does. I think he's good. on his phone this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's like I'm probably the fastest. Oh, you're the fastest. <laughs> he's the fastest. You are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the yeah. Fastest. I'm, in, I'm in and out. I'm like, oh, I'm out of here. I'll be right back. Yeah. We spent a lot of time. Using the bathroom in close vicinity. We spend a other. lot of time waiting for each other to be done in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Can you imagine how much, like, if you were to add up all those, all the minutes we've spent, like, waiting for the guy to get out of the bathroom <laughs> so that we could shower, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, adds up, bro. It does, bro. Yeah. Who's the latest? Who's always, like, not on time? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me, it's, bro. Nah, bro. Frick. You were on time I today. I want to talk about someone who's not here. <laughs> Caleb not having to set up any gear has the, lu- has the luxury of not having to be of there. Course, that's so true, bro. The show. That's all I'm saying. Oh, he doesn't have to be there an hour ahead. He can be there a half hour. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. I was surprised you guys. They all got here one minute, or I guess a couple minutes before two o'clock, which is the time we're, we're filming. <laughs> Yeah, right. I was impressed. Right, because I I don't know <laughs> if it's, it's just it. kind of a stigma that entertainers are usually later, um, but no, yeah. not these guys. No, that, yeah, no, yeah, not us, not us. the yeah. green, Pretty the good, punctual. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's important. Man. Call yeah. times are important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll awesome. be late on each other, but never on you for like, something like. Yeah, we're not gonna yeah. like. I respect. Yeah, that. we we yeah. when it comes to like you know people, other people who we're working with, like. We definitely have the respect to like appreciate yeah. that, yeah. But on each other, we'll just be like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll let them wait. <laughs> yeah. Let them wait. <laughs> let them that wait. That sounds like a song. Of, <laughs> I'm talking to my let son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's take a quick shishi break because I cannot nice. wait to use the bathroom. All right. <laughs> nice. And All right. then we'll get sounds right good. back with the social media questions. All right. Okay. All right, we're back from a quick shishi break. We'll look to our drink sponsor, Shaka Tea Herbal Organic. Earthy. Herbal. Herbal. Herbal Shaka. Island Vibes. Okay, mahalo. All right, so let's get into our social media fan questions, okay? Yeah. Um, before we get into the nice. specific ones from certain people, I had a, a lot of people leave questions asking about JP's whereabouts. So I don't know how you guys want to answer that, but maybe just tell, tell us what you can. And hopefully people are satisfied with that answer. But just to kind of let the audience know, this is a super personal matter. So whatever we're going to hear, that's what we're going to get. And then after that, go on and live the rest of your life. Stop being Wahoi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you heard. Yeah. Nah, um, Nanya. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, so like th- for those who know who the green is, like we've, you know, we've been a six Peace band on stage forever until recently because you know JP has has left for a, for a while. I mean, but um, and everyone wants to know why you know and uh, the the specifics we just can't get into because, like you said, it is very 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 personal um, to him and like stuff that like you know we don't we can't talk about. It's not really our 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 business to be talking about. Um, but you know. We we've been we we're, we're we've always been family, and we've we've been through so much together. Like uh, in the last thirteen years, like just crazy, crazy. Like we could sit here. I, I we're trying to answer your questions, and we're going off on tangents, you know, on stories and all that. So we've been through so much together, but um, it we've never expected this to ever happen. Like the the fact that JP's not here with us right now, you know, that's not, that was never in the playbook. And, and, and anybody not being in the band out of us six would always have in our minds would have meant that's it, you know, like, so it took, it took a while to get to this point to where we've carried on. Like it's been a couple years of 
trying to make it work and make it work without without Jay and then him come back and try and, you know, just give give him time, give us time and try and do what's right. And because mo- what's most important is not the band, it's everyone's family and their health and their well-being and all that. So we've always just, we've tried to do that. And, um, but, you know, we, things happen that you would never imagine happening and, and change is scary. And I think that's a big part of what, everybody who's asking these questions rightfully so um is 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 afraid of is the change and and like it's been scary for us too um but it was just absolutely necessary each one of us in the band uh caleb jordan brad Ikaika, and myself and our team our management um have done like everything we can to try and you know do what's right first and and just and and keep that path going and we we've done that, but right now, just the path that JP is on, he's he's just not able to to be with us right now, and you know it's it's sad, it's heartbreaking in a lot of ways, and but there's so much to it that and this that and we've all been through dealing with it, and we've had to move forward in a lot of ways, and we've had to do that a while ago. So, like we've been. I always say we've been working really hard and, and like busting ass, you know, in the studio and all that. But we've always done that. We've always worked hard in studio and all that. But lately it's like things are in perspective a little more. I think like I said that earlier today, we're talking and it's like we, we're older now. We appreciate things more. We realize how, how things can change without you expecting it or foreseeing it or it even making sense. Like it doesn't make sense. This, this world doesn't mm-hmm. make sense mm-hmm. sometimes. So... I think it's kind of in a lot of ways been a good thing, been a catalyst to us growing up and and really like taking better care of our business, the green as a business and as an entity and everything. And it's honestly been a wake up call that's been a good thing for our band and for our, our brand. Like things are things are tight, things are running well i don't know i'm not saying it's because he's not here or because of anything like that it's just sometimes when change happens other things like it's it's gonna spread out and it's spread out in a good way in in a lot of ways and i think that's a part of us like having to mature and deal with conflict as an adult and move past it and and you know you make the most of it or you or you move on but you don't just dwell on it and complain about it and go, ah, this isn't how it's supposed to be. It's like, how long can that last? Mm-hmm. You know. So it's been, it's just been a crazy growth for us. And you know, deep down, I personally, I can't speak for anyone in the band, but I, I, I love Jay. I'll, I'll always love him and and hope that you know, we'll wish the best for him and his family. And one day, you know, if if he comes back or we have something as the green it's gonna have to be something new and and different like like what's happening right now is new and different it's still the green but it's new and different so it could never be like how it was mm-hmm. it would have to be better like how right now in my opinion it's better in a lot of ways and i think if you come to a show you'll you'll see like it's just the energy and the revitalization i think it's because we got out of this dark cloud of of stress and dealing with what was going on and we came out on the other side realizing we can do it and realizing we've been doing it for 13 years overcoming stuff you know so man it's you know that's the best answer i I can give as without really saying you know any specific stuff but um yeah that was beautiful mahalo for sharing that was a that was those great answers yeah and you know i just just to add to that like I think, you know, everything Zion touched on, I, I, I mean, he's, yeah, he, you know, he speaks, he speaks for us, right? He's here, like, you know, representing the band. And, and I think like what people, uh, we know, we, we understand that people are, are curious and are wondering, you know, what's going on, you know, and if, and, and they're fans and they love our music. They love our music with JP. They love JP's music. Like we totally understand it, that, that people feel like, you know, the green may not be the same, but that's, that's the truth. You know, it's not, it's not, JP's not here. Like we understand that, but the truth for, for us is that it, it almost ended us and we had to decide we, were we just going to just say, all right, 
that's it. Or were we going to continue and, and try our best to keep doing music and what we love, not just for like, not just for like our fans and, but for like us, our families mm -hmm. to keep, you know, just our livelihood. Like, and at the end of the day, it was very hard to make those decisions. And there was a lot of talks and conversations, you know, also like being in the, the, you know, in the, in the midst of like going through something with one of our brothers, like it, it's, it's a lot. And like, we made the decision that <clears throat> to like, we're going to keep going. We're not going to stop. Mm -hmm. We can't stop. And it took a lot of like, mindset like changes to be our, in order to do it but like we we came through and we decided we're gonna do it you know and and i feel like it took like everybody's um like max strength mm -hmm. to do it you know yeah. yeah yeah so yeah no that's that's a good point it almost it almost like ended us and we were like is this gonna is this really gonna end us because it shouldn't you know? scary that's scary yeah. i can i can feel how how powerful how how impactful that was just by you speaking yeah. how much it meant to you guys and wow. yeah man and but we're, that's why we're so blessed too because like like honestly though the way it feels now like it's like that was supposed to happen like mm -hmm. it, it, there's been so many things that have happened in our career like as the green our career that has been like Oh yeah, we're in the right place, right time. Like, and and it doesn't it doesn't always mean it was a good thing, but mm -hmm. there was some reason why. It, and it's like, this feels like that now. During it, mm -hmm. in the heat of the moment, you can't tell them. You can't tell how important it is. But like after, it's kind of. I mean, you know how important it is, but you don't mm -hmm. see the way out. You know, and then now that it's kind of, you know, like us even talking about it right now. It's like that's why it's so emotional to bring up yeah. is because we haven't really talked about it too much. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I just want to mahalo you for sharing this very, you know, personal thing. And it it shows vulnerability and growth So to see people like you at the, the highest level, you know, go through normal things like f familial things, re relationship mm -hmm. things, you know, because we put people who are well known with thousands of followers, the kid next to their Instagram follower count on these pedestals like they're gods goddesses like yeah. their lives are perfect yeah, yeah. not they they're untouchable yeah. but there yeah. are real struggles that mm -hmm. go, that goes on in everybody's life that's what that's what i notice when i go uh, when i talk to the people on this podcast it's right. like oh you're just a normal person yeah, yeah. you're going through the same things you have anxiety you're self-conscious <laughs> you're insecure oh me too them too it's like yeah yeah you just realize like this is just part of the human experience yeah. right so i mean it's just you know things like this happen with families with friends it's just that there's a spotlight on you guys yeah. and that's why everybody's curious yeah and, it, and it's and it's all good like we we know like we 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 want people to be curious and mm -hmm. care right like that means we did like our job like we, mm -hmm. we're, we we put something out there that people care about right and so we're grateful for these questions and we know people are, are curious and wondering and we want to provide some, any type mm -hmm. of insight we can, you know, to, to, to at least maybe hopefully like makes them feel at ease or, or maybe it makes them feel like they want to reach out to JP or to us and say like, Hey, you know, I was thinking about you guys and wishing the best for you guys. And I think that's, I think that's all, you know, like, cause at the end of the day, like Zion said, mm -hmm. you know, the band shouldn't be the most important thing right now, you know? And, um, in this situation, you know, with JP, and we're hoping that first and foremost that um, he's able to 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 get to the place where he needs to be, so that so that other opportunities and, and poss possibilities for the the for the band then can become mm -hmm. you know something. And so, you know, we'll see you know one day. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Mahalo. I hope yeah. that. That's good enough for everybody. I, I, I hope so. I mean, you I make Kaika cry, that. but what more do yeah. you guys want? <laughs> what more do you want? I forgot about 
tissue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that that really shows me how close you guys were. I how, almost lost how, it too for how, a second. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. How much I'm the one that starts crying. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> totally. It's, it's totally fine. <laughs> Taimane <laughs> cried like three times on the podcast. I'm not going to so lie. So you're not even close. Taimane. Taimane? <laughs> she has a record, I think. Okay. Did she? Well, yeah. this ain't over. Yeah. We're just getting started. The tear ducts are open now. <laughs> well, let, let, let's move on to the next question then. So this one comes from Mark Caniella Ocano 21. Um, awesome guy. Well, with him. Oh, you guys know him? No, at, I don't oh. know. Maybe he surfs at bowls. He's one of the, oh, the nice. un- uncles over. Right. I don't know. Um, he wants to be called an uncle, but he's he's solid, solid <laughs> brother. Um, but he he actually asked, "What's been the biggest hurdle through your career thus far?" But this sounds like it was probably was the it. the biggest <laughs> hurdle. <laughs> so I wanna I wanna flip it. I wanna say, okay. what well, what's been the most rewarding, the most gratifying, the your favorite thing in your career thus far? And we can let's let's go start with Jordan to give you guys some time to recover. You guys can start it off. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah, you guys start it off. I mean, and then I'll, I'll, I can I'll, think I'll of, I can think of I'll a lot. Okay, okay. Well, playing, um, getting to do the Aloha Stadium with Bruno Mars and the Common Kings was Ooh, like, oh yeah, a guarantee. Yeah. One I wish I went to that one. Oh, bro. I don't know if I was even here on island, but I, not, I, I I agree with that one. I like that one because um. Mm-hmm. It was a it was a huge deal for for the for for One Hawaii. You know what I mean? Like, biggest stars in the world. Yeah, and he's he's a local boy, and like being able to support. And that was the second time we were able to support. And the first time he came mm-hmm. for the Blazedale shows, we did two or three shows with him there mm-hmm. on the Moonshine Jungle tour, and yep, then yep. for the Twenty Four Karat Magic tour, we got to do those two shows with him too. And Gosh, I mean, like, whenever Bruno releases an album, we're just like, oh, is he going to call us? You keep checking your phone. Yeah, every, like, yeah. every time it buzzes, so, you're like, Bruno? Yeah. Bruno? So, because they're so fun. I mean, and it gives, it gives like, wh- what's important. And I think, like, what we've been able to see in our careers and is that, like, whenever you get to see that level and experience it, mm-hmm. you know, and you're there, it's like, you take that in and, you just it, it's inspiring just learn so it's inspiring much, you, know? and you learn mm-hmm. so much and you go back to your your rehearsal or the meaning or to writing and you're just like okay it changes you in some way For you sure. know even if you're like trying like oh i want to write a pop song mm-hmm. hey you weren't writing yeah. a pop song last week you know mm-hmm. what i mean right. but like you're gonna somehow like th- these little nuggets of inspiration just kind of like culminate into yeah yeah something and but yeah, so it's, it's like at the top of, of the mountain, there's another peak, right? So yeah. you're like, mm-hmm. you guys been at the top of the mountain here locally. And then when you got to that point, you're like, wow, there's more. Yeah. You see, like, <laughs> this is just another level, right? Because he's on his right? peak, right? Yeah. 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 And, and it's, it's amazing that's to wild. see. He gave yeah. us a glimpse. We're like, whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. Was that yeah. the biggest crowd you played in front? Is the yeah. Stadium the biggest? I think so. What is what is a lost Stadium? You know? Well, that concert, I think, was like... It was like 35,000. Yeah. Because Aloha Stadium was 50, but I believe that concert was around 35. Yeah. Like, and then that's so the biggest crowd we played in front of? Oh, is there something bigger? I don't know. Hmm. What about the New Zealand one? The one Love? One Love. I don't know, man. It was, that was probably. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't get much. Yeah. yeah. In, uh, 20, in 2053, when it reopens, hmm. you guys can play again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 So now, like, uh, our kids will. We'll just have to yeah. wait the, the, the next, the next generation. Green, the next green next generation. Green generation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Jordan? I mean, yeah, the, that show was unreal and stuff like that. But I mean, just like, I guess like rewarding. Like for me, I I got into the band, like, you know, at that bandwagon, you know, phase. I The boys were, you guys were rolling in 15 passenger vans. We were in a van before that, top of our you know? Pieces, yeah. Yeah. And so He's like just to, boy. Right. <laughs> yeah. And just, you know, just to be, you know in a bandwagon or a bus is is a blessing and a reward itself you know what i mean and a lot of bands tour tour is still in 15 passenger vans and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so you know it's kind of that is a blessing and it's a reward itself i i I look at it like that you know what i mean because i could be in a hard chair you know i'm i'm in a comfortable bed you know what i mean let's just say like jordan came in and he had a bed yeah (laughs) exactly yeah super thankful for that have you and no uh, drive shift and no driving shift you you guys watch avengers like the marvel movies yeah yeah you you watch uh uh, what was it um 
Avengers, I think it was the Battle Civil War. I think that was the first time Spider Man came in. And okay. he's like fighting the people and he's like also fanboying against them. He's like, Are you Spider Man? You like come, come in late to yeah. the Avengers and yeah. you're like, <laughs> It's me. It's fanboying For over sure. all them. Yeah. That's, that's, still, that's the image in my head. That he, I, he, you like to tell us some of those stories. You're like, I remember when you guys are playing with, you know, so and so and stuff like that. And it's good to hear because it's good to have Jordan be like the younger guy because it's, he reminds us like of those times and and I don't know it's like it's good it's good to have this guy yeah no yeah I think you're Spider Man you're the young Spider Man yeah in the I Avengers. am bro yeah yeah I'll take it yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay next question this is a really good one I'm happy this person asked this Leo Lani asks what is your favorite reggae ad lib hmm thought this was an interesting one mm. and it, just to be clear is this like the how people go like but uh like they do like I get I, I get I think so. I think that's what yeah. she means. Like, um, I'm gonna I'm like gonna shaggy, <laughs> like shaggy Everybody, and, yeah. Everybody's got their own signature yeah. ones. Yeah. I'm gonna go with um <laughs> Bog has a nice one. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. What are you yeah. saying? Uh I think it's well oh well. Well I might well. be wrong. Well, 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 well. Yeah, it is it is it is well oh well. It is well oh well. yeah. What's Caleb's one, bro? Is it? I don't know, bro. Why He's Lord? got all kind. Why Lord? <laughs> Why Lord? Somebody made Why a Lord? video of this one time of like the different like ad libs. Ad libs, like, and they had Boog saying LOL mm. and Caleb saying like Whale Lord or something. Oh, <laughs> like, how, like the bad lip reading kind of <laughs> yeah. thing? Yeah, or yeah, what it sounds yeah. like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's Whale funny. Lord. I don't know. Barrington's got like one of the best of all time. Oh, right? yeah. Like, Surely, whoa. Oh, that's a good one. That kind of thing. I like uh, Gentleman. He goes, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like, that was good. I don't know. Do you have your own personal ones that you don't really notice? Or you notice I don't. I've been, I've been searching for one for a long time. If you guys yeah. have any ideas, <laughs> yeah, yeah, DM me. Let DM. me know. I'm down to, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to have my own one day. <laughs> Yeah. You just gotta come to though. you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't no, force it. I'm trying to think of one for for you. <laughs> you have to be bear related, uh. just like a like a grizzly, yeah. like a roar. Bro, what's yours? You got something? <laughs> I probably do, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's gonna take me a minute, but it's probably in the roar, in the growl realm. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Okay, it comes well, out during the songs, but that's a that's an interesting question. Yeah, that's super interesting. interesting. Question. Yeah, yeah, well, awesome. great question. Yeah. Okay. Well, think about it. Maybe you just mm. drop it mid podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just a random reggae. Ad just ad throw in reggae <laughs> in the middle of these questions. That's a great idea. <laughs> okay. Next question <laughs> comes from Bryson <laughs> Keho. When not performing, what do you enjoy most on your free time? Whoever wants to answer first. <clears throat> Jordan. Is that on tour or is that like just no, free when, time. Not when you're tour. not free performing? Time? When you're not yeah, just perform. free time, I guess. Off tour. Uh, I, I'm a huge sports fan. I, I like to watch sports and stuff. Nice. Uh, spend time with my kids. Um, I have two boys and a girl. Awesome. And um, yeah, I, I like to, you know, spend time with them doing sports stuff, you know, throwing ball, um, all kinds of stuff. Play music. My son's been playing drums uh, a lot lately. So I like to, uh, you know, show them the basics and stuff that mm -hmm. on my free time and spend time with family, you know, barbecue. That's, that's my zone. I, I yeah. love barbecuing and just cruising. I'm not really a go out yeah, yeah. kind of guy, you know, on my free time, I would rather barbecue and chill with the family and yeah. stuff, you know? So yeah, just home vibes is yeah, the yeah, best. You know what I mean? Love it. Love it. Yeah. yeah, I heard you've been at Moani's a lot though. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Um, I, 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 yeah, I think um, <laughs> at least you know gotta wait in the line. Yeah, that line gets crazy. Wow, <laughs> thanks. No, no, no. Yeah, wow. Jordan don't, don't gotta wait in the line. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm with that too. Like um, family stuff, um, barbecues, you know, family parties, stuff like that. Any 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 excuse to. Uh, to um, cap dinner with the family. <laughs> oh, 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 I guess uh, I'm I'm getting old, bro. I mean, how can I say like tonight? Like my my today is my mom's last um breast cancer radiation treatment. So congrats. trying to figure out dinner, you know. So thinking, Quinoa guarantee. That was number one. But you want to <laughs> know what? It's closed on Monday. Oh, yeah. always. Yeah, bro. Wow. So I was like, they eat quinoa. 
Do you know quinoa and carne here? Oh, I thought, you know, I thought you were just saying not, like not the, the, the rice thing. There's a restaurant. Oh, yeah. quinoa. Quinoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Quinoa. No, no, no. <laughs> Quin- no. Quinoa is uh, a... <laughs> yeah, no, there's, no, there's no quinoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, get, I get quinoa, but... but you it's, know, it's, I it's like cow roast first. So, yeah. well, what, what kind of food do they have? Um, oh, it's a Chinese, Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super good. good. Super I didn't want to be... Uh, uh, like, I'm like, going to have to agree. Like, we, we grew up living in Kailua. We grew up going to that. So that yeah. was like okay. the family spot. They got the Lazy Susan in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, those places. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. Bro. It's awesome. That's just one of our like special occasion spots and... You know, family style, right? So, and if we're not cooking, then that's an easy one for yeah, us yeah. to pick up well, and bring yeah, home. If you guys like his autograph, you know where to find him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just expose this spot. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't close to there. Yeah. yeah. Shocks, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you, I know you have a podcast. Yep, I do. Yeah. I do that. When explicit Aloha. I'm so, it's called the Explicit Aloha mm-hmm. Podcast. Kikes help make me uh, the logo. Oh, right on. And, um, uh, but I just do that. It comes out every Friday, but I just, it's, uh, I, I struggle to get it out sometimes. Like Stop. I'll literally come home from, from training, make dinner and shoot to the studio and try and finish before 12 when I got to get kicked out of the studio. So <laughs> it doesn't always come out and it's, um it's not as pro as this. It's not as like um different format too. It's mm-hmm. kind of just me just sort of talking smack, talk about my kids, talk about the green, have a few interviews every now and mm-hmm. then. But, um, and it's not really video, it's usually just audio stuff. But I do that. And then they didn't mention golf, though. I remember the question was like, what do you guys do? We're not mm-hmm. performing. Like, these guys are huge golfers. When we're on tour, golf shirt. <laughs> yeah, when we're on tour, um, we golf a lot mm. more, right? Because we have the free time. We're when did you get into that? The golf suck. They've been golfing for I mean, obviously, I got into a kid. it because of them. Mm. But yeah, because everyone's got all my friends are golfing like yeah. since you should, like two you years should, ago. You should, you know, I I, I, up, I think it's like it's like an expensive hobby though. It is. It is, bro. Surfing it is. is cheaper. It is yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But if you can find, you can find like a cheap like set of clubs. It's not like a real expensive new yeah. one, and just go to the range and you know like mm. kind of work on it and stuff. But yeah, once you start like paying for rounds and then, oh, it, you know, my friends are obsessed. I think I'm thing. probably the last one that didn't get into it yet well you get the bug and it's yeah bro over. once you get the bug it's over yeah, yeah. that one I good shot i would golf you're done yeah and i love it because he's just done. like the one good shot in the yep. thousand terrible shots yeah it's like your first mm-hmm. nose right or your first barrel mm. you know you get like a mean like smooth swing and the ball just goes and you're like and then it's that it's addicting oh. trying to chase oh. that yeah, yeah. <laughs> you love for it. sure yeah. bro so yeah. classic it's fun Okay. But yeah. Well, maybe maybe I'll get and hang out with the family. Yeah. Do you do you do martial arts? I I started a year ago with okay, my, me and my boys. Train. Yeah. Yeah. We just I started jujitsu at um a spot called Ulua Ulu mm-hmm. in um it's like in like St. Louis Heights ish area. Okay. But um I started with my boys. I have a thirteen year old oh, and a twelve nice. year old, so it's like something we do together and like, love that. It's really it's just been such an awesome bonding experience mm-hmm. and get to see them level up and get strength and confidence yeah and yeah now i'm getting a little nervous though because the the big one he's getting he's it's like almost good. taller than me and i'm just like frick he's gonna be choking me out pretty yeah, soon yeah, so i gotta start naked um, no i want naked him to <laughs> yeah, that's what i want i want him to do that but, yeah but yeah you guys watch ufc and all that too mm-hmm. yeah i'm, I'm not, like as far as sports that's the like i like surfing and like mm. fighting sports really like yeah i couldn't I couldn't. I cannot hang when these guys are talking football, <laughs> basketball. I'm just like, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> football season. The bus is going off. Both TVs, front, back, lounge are playing different games. I love that. I, I got. That's where I want to be. It's and it's good fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just sitting there like, yep. yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> because there were some really good UFC fights recently. Yeah, the cards UFC 290 and 291. Some of the best. Bra. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. for the. What do you think about the Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> I hope it happens. I think. I think. You think it's not? I think. I mean, they're... Zuckerberg is gonna destroy yeah. Musk because yeah. Zuckerberg actually trains, and I think he <laughs> yeah. he won one of the tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, and he, he looks in his... shape. I yeah. saw some pictures. Yeah, Elon looks like kind of. But who knows though? Maybe it does. Brain, I mean, they're both he might smart have a Tyson though. Fury. Gen. Yeah, Elon Musk might just catch him too. I don't you know. know. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I don't know. That's uh, interesting. I, that. I, I just yeah. saw watched the Nate Diaz and uh, Jake Paul one. Oh, sick! Yeah. yeah, I didn't watch it live. I just watched the highlights. Yeah, yeah. He got he like joked at that one point. He, yeah. tried, he did a guillotine and then <laughs> bro, he's like, I, I had the single bro. leg and the guillotine <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's a win for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh they, uh, I great. think they're supposed to run it back in PFL in uh, like oh, actual yeah. MMA. That's so what we'll do, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm looking God, forward to that fan- good, fantasy that football. Good. That's my my biggest thing. Sick. I was just telling Kilani right before this that um, I think I want to rent out the place that we're at right now to do my fantasy draft. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah it's a good a spot. Sick place. Yeah, yeah, sick place to do a draft. Yeah. You guys play that fantasy? I do. I've done it before. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm obsessed. That's my addiction. Nice. Yeah. I play I play soccer on the on Sundays, but oh, during nice. football season I take that season off just to <laughs> watch football all day. Oh, wow. I watch all day from like seven AM to Oh you're the night. hardcore. All day. You are hardcore, the, uh, right Not- Saints. Oh, oh nice. I was just gonna say it reminds me of Lucas. Lucas. <laughs> he's a Saints yeah. fan. Oh, our really? other our member who doesn't jam with us on stage. He um he's hardcore, but he'll do the same thing. He'll like he won't talk to his girl or his wife oh, all yeah, day. Yeah. He'll turn off his phone. Like he he's like and he'll and then he'll tape it and he'll rewatch it again. Okay, I, I don't rewatch it. Again. <laughs> right I cannot after, I cannot watch it unless it's right live. After, it's not the same. Oh. That's why I have to be there. I have to watch yeah, it live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have yeah. to see my stats accumulate and I have to just cheer you for all the, all the guys. I you got to yeah. be invested like that when you're in the fantasy. Oh stuff. yeah, and the fantasy is big time, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I have four leagues as of right now, so we'll oh, see wow. what happens in a couple <laughs> yeah. weeks. But yeah, let's get back to the Instagram <laughs> <Hey, missions. bro. laughs> uh, Okay, next question comes from Soul Cow Street Team. Hey, they hey, want to know. Carol, yeah, Carol. they What's snuck awesome. in a question right before I What's I close this. In? So they want to know what is your favorite song to play and why. Change, it changes for me all the time, but um, normally, like, like right now, like I guess our new song "Summertime" yep. is probably uh, on this last tour was the most um, fun song. I love to see like the reaction to the new song from mm-hmm. the audience because if you because it's new, like you would think like oh your new song like like oh everybody knows it because it's your new song and it's getting radio play, but not always the case. Like mm-hmm. a lot of times, it's it like they need they need to like learn have more time with it in order to like have some kind of really noticeable reaction in the audience but i like to look for those reactions to see if people are like stoked that or they recognize the intro or something like that so mm-hmm. that's fun for me um and then like just it being new to play for us i i kind of mm-hmm. lean towards like the newer songs yeah. the set, you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah and then like i'm sure somebody's gonna give this answer but you guys go ahead um i i think for me um, I think I know where you're going. Coming home is pretty big for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's big for all of us, you know. Um, we all have families and stuff, so um, coming home hits different, you know. And that that is our last song of our set, um, of our Hanaho actually. And you know, it, it it hits home, and you know, it's 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 really mm-hmm. a, a deep song. And um, every time we play it, you know, I have the same feeling, you know. And it's 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 a special song, not to only me, but I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. the boys can relate yeah. to. So yeah, that's, coming that's home one is, of my favorite songs. And right I think on. I talked to Brad about that because mm-hmm. he was saying that he writes some song and I was I had a feeling mm-hmm. I was like, Brad probably wrote that song and he's the only one without kids, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So exactly. it's so ironic. It's, that's it's the funny. cool thing about that song yeah. is that he like wrote it from the, pers- for, for from you the guys, perspective, yeah. just of looking at us. Like, yeah, I love to, that. I know. I, I thought so that crazy. was so cool of him and... Um, thanks, he's Brad, for good. writing a, a, a great song. <laughs> you know, he's a he's a, right. just a low key legend kind of guy. Like he's very yes. low key legend. You wouldn't think he just like yeah. is a music. Uh, I don't know. Do we, do he's connoisseur in this kind of sense? But uh, like he's definitely just like he's mastermind. Kind of a, he's kind of a genius too. Yeah, a lot of things like well, he, he dropped out of Punahou, right? Yeah, I mean, was that. The best move he did? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was too like, smart. That's why he's like, ah, school, school's too boring. I'm too smart. I got to get out of here. <laughs> That's what it was. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but no, like he's like, I mean, just the, like he went, like he learned how to do yoga and like, I don't know about mastering it because I don't know, like I'm not certain on the levels. Yeah. But he's a jack of all trades. He became like an instructor. Bro. Wait, then, he's like, an instructor, yoga instructor? instructor? He, he got like, certified, yoga instructor like, his certified, 200 like, hour, yeah. Like, and oh, then, like, you know, Olelo, right? Like, yeah, how he's able Olelo, to just, like, so zoop, so and then good, it's yeah. like, holy cow, like, he just kind of, yeah. like, he's different, you mm-hmm. know, on every, in the on the music level, but also on other levels. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. <clears throat> he told us to not, right before this, like, don't talk bad about me. 
I know. I'm trying to think of something bad to say. <laughs> yeah, drop it. <laughs> Start some drama. Nah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, did you answer what, what was your favorite song? Why? I, don't I think didn't. Home. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, coming home gets like. I used to tear up when we first started touring, coming home, like in the last couple of years, because mm -hmm. I just, um, in 2020, I had a, we all had daughters basically around the same time. And uh, <laughs> so when that song came out, we, you know, we already, I mean, Jordan had had kids previous and, and I did too, um, those Ikaikas first, but it was just still like, just, I remember trying to play the song and I'm all good. But then once I started singing along, I like to, to the words with Caleb, I'd start like tearing <laughs> up and I'd just be like, oh man, I gotta, and like for the whole first tour, it was like that. Now it, I can, I'm okay. I can mm -hmm. sing along with it. It's not a big deal. I love yeah. seeing when musicians choke up though. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. Cause like, I'm just thinking about Bowie. I'm just like thinking about my daughter. Yeah. It's like, you know, wondering what she's doing, but yeah. Um, Three Little Birds though. I like oh. playing that song. Mm -hmm. Last tour, All we did right. Three Little Birds Me and we too. added a little a, blues yeah. section Ooh, and it made nice. it super fun. Yeah, where we nice. stripped down and took a like, ding, 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 and it was just like oh, super cool. fun. And like by the end of the tour, we finally nailed it. Like yeah. I figured like we <laughs> like, finally hit all the yeah. all the parts. <laughs> and it was <laughs> sick. <laughs> that was so right? that was probably never got it again. Awesome. Okay, well, next question comes from the Wong Tyler. This person wants to know what is the secret to keeping the band together for all these years. Yeah, I think it's just like, I think it's just, you know, letting each, letting everyone kind of be themselves, and you know, like allowing people to just like express themselves, and and it helps. It helps with everything, like your relationships, like we were talking about earlier, and we stay like close because we know like individually we're all different but um that's also like what we love about each other and that uh helps us get along and but also like we like a lot of the same things and and so when it comes to keeping the band together that our relationship outside of the band like not like we spend all our free time together because we don't like mm -hmm. But when we're in band mode, it's like we're so close and we're really like brothers. And I, I'd be lying if I saying that if I said that that didn't help the band go on. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And and so yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, when you work with somebody and then they become your friends because mm -hmm. I have a business partner. Mm -hmm. I mean, like mm -hmm. um, Nerdy Jordan over there, mm -hmm. not not cool Jordan. Nice. Nerdy Jordan over here. <laughs> this is right there <laughs> oh, behind the camera. My guy. Yeah, that My guy. guy. <laughs> Are you Hawaiian? <laughs> <laughs> he was born in Guam, actually. <laughs> he um he came on and we started working together, and now you know we became. I don't like to use the f word, but friends, friends. friends you know, yeah, I invited to to the birthday party, so I totally That's get it. Official. And yeah, it, it's it's fun when you actually enjoy working with yeah. the people. Actually, you know. know what is official when you don't get invited to the birthday party? That's how you know you're a really close friend. <laughs> you I don't think even I'd rather get the invite. invited. It's like you're just supposed to just show up. Oh yeah. <laughs> nah. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> okay. Next question comes from Mrs. Martinez. Best slash worst parts Hello. of touring. Worst part of tour is the bus situation. And there's various reasons. It's the driver. When the driver's bad, you you don't sleep at night and you think you're gonna mm. die every night. <laughs> no joke. And then the other thing is you can't you can't number two on the bus. You can only she Oh, you can't? Bus. No. No. You can. No. <laughs> but it's like uh, it's, it's like it's, it's more of a current wait, 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 hold on. Right? Well, not <laughs> only can you <laughs> okay you can you can go and put it down into the tank but that's not allowed that's against the rules oh, okay, okay. yeah yeah um, not saying you've ever done that before but you gotta, there are ways there are ways yeah no you're not supposed to and you'll get charged for it and they gotta yeah. clean it out, and it's just not really made for oh, it, and, okay. and it's gonna stink up the the bus. Yeah, yeah. but um, it's yeah, you need to smell that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So um, so what do you do? You just stop on the side and go to the nearest yeah truck, truck stops, and, yeah. Yeah. and you just you gotta be on it. You got you cannot be like just grinding. Yeah. And then like in the middle of the night, you're at like 
you're in the middle of the desert or something <laughs> at 3 a.m. and you wake up, you're like, oh, man, my stomach's kind of sorry. Wow. There's an anxiety That's with tough. it. That's tough. There's an anxiety with it for me at least. Like, <laughs> yeah. y- you better take care of it before at least try. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you know who's a good trier is Zion. Zion will make sure, like, even if he doesn't have to go, he tries. A good Just trier. Because. He's a good yeah. trier, a good trier. <laughs> I've been, I'm very disciplined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anything after the show, like wow. we'll have like pizza. I might eat one slice, maybe, but that's because I know I have I have uh, an hour or two with a bathroom access before wow. we hit the road. Yeah, it's so just, it's like if you stop at a truck stop, oh, like, and Dang. You so you guys are just bombing public restrooms. Oh, oh yeah, dude, for sure, sure bro. Oh, <laughs> for sure, bro. Once you're, once you're, that's touring, half the battle when you wake up. You I know? need to find the Facebook group, <laughs> right? That, that bro, probably it's says, like, it's a thing. <laughs> I've seen the green bomb the toilets at this truck stop. Bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, that'd be so, that'd be so yeah. dope. Like, bro, we've, we've experienced, let us know if you've seen yeah. them in a public <laughs> restroom. Before. Flying jeans, yeah. yeah. pilot, loves, yeah, loves, loves. Oh, uh, yep. we did warp tour in 2012, and that was just insane same thing uh, couldn't you know go on we had yeah. a bandwagon but like we guarantee you use porta potties more than anyone dang because at warp tour it's like it's all about porta potties mm. that's what they yeah. got and there's like hundreds of them you know that apprehension that every normal person feels about using the bathroom and going number two almost anywhere other than their house yeah we've had to abandon that wow. problem years ago Years ago, no because shame. of tour, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and try but, try using a porta potty in the hundred and ten degree. Oh, yeah, sweating because like, it's hundred thirty. That's in that the bomba. most uncomfortable though, because <laughs> right, yeah. like I don't want to get too like uh, this sorry, 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 the conversation is going. Like, going like, like, uh, it can go the, real. The, it can go real. When you're sweating and you gotta wipe, yeah. Oh yeah, bro. So the trick is to always bring a water bottle. With you into the porta potty. No, no, so you, Port- can, portable. So you can wet the oh, toilet paper. I was say portable bidet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I got a We're little pros, kit. bro. We're pros. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you heard it here first. Could write a book on this <laughs> yeah. subject. Yeah. Yeah. Please. One of my my book ideas in the future that I want to write mm-hmm. is this. I think it's like 300 something facts to poop to. It's like a, a, a book you mm-hmm. have on the toilet. And the title of it is called Poop There It Is. <laughs> Don't nice. steal it, Patent yeah, Jordan. Yeah, you should have no, said, said that. Jordan, cut this out. <laughs> but that's, that, that's, good, that's one of my things. Poop yeah. facts, huh? Yeah, just, we have we have some. Oh no, 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 no just is. like facts to oh, facts. Too. So yeah, I, but it'd be nice if they're related. To I guess, poop. yeah. Like I know, I, I have a um, a squatty potty at home, so oh, like that's yeah, good. Nice. It's in the natural you position. Use, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just use my daughter's um stool that she just washed. Life hack: If you don't have a squatty potty, just use the um. The what's it called? Like the trash can. People usually have like a small yep. little trash can there in the bathroom. Go. So just put that on your feet. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. too tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You yeah. gotta adjust. <laughs> <laughs> this is classic. Yeah. But what about uh, the other best sorry worst parts of touring? <laughs> what, no, what was the question? <laughs> we keep it real here. We keep it aloha and we keep it real. Yeah. 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 Best part, I think, like I like um I, I like food. I like to go <laughs> and try the what, bro? No, because the <laughs> <laughs> I'm not because I, give the, bro, I can relate. Don't give the hold in laugh. You know what I mean? Like, I'm something like, bro, no. Because the first we one get to and the second one are like related. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. But, you know, you get, we, we wake up in a different city. So the cool part about that is we, we can try like all different kinds mm-hmm. of foods. Yeah. Or, yeah. and then even revisit because a lot of, times a lot of tours were playing in the same markets mm-hmm. we can revisit places oh, so you shops. look forward to certain yeah. places we'll yeah. star them on our maps and stuff yeah. and like make sure we like even we do that with golf courses too out there but um i love i love just like being in just getting to try different restaurants yeah yeah too. awesome yeah mm-hmm. love that how's play music brad- too <laughs> yeah <laughs> just jamming on yeah, the side is, how does brad golf too no. Okay, I was gonna say I can't no. see Brad golfing. No. Mm. Yeah, he's the only one. Guarantee he'd be just so good at it. Yeah. Yeah. That's just randomly. For sure. He just wants the to have one. the peace and quiet of the bus when we're all gone. <laughs> like finally, everyone's yeah. gone. Yeah. So he's like straight I'll up. Yeah. yeah. He loves it. <laughs> okay. He doesn't want to see our faces. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so last question. This comes from Jamazin eight oh eight. Sorry, Jamazin eighty six. This is a question for each band members. What was your favorite city you toured toured in and why? Mahalos. Mm, that's a good question. I mean, right off the bat, New York City just like screams out. I'm sure all of us think mm-hmm. about New York mm-hmm. City. Just because being in New York City when you're from Hawaii, you know, it's just yeah. like, what? It's like when you see snow for the first time. Mm-hmm. It's like, 
but even more nuts. So like and we, the opposite of Hawaii. Yeah. So yeah. Totally. And we've had fun mm-hmm. experiences, good shows there. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, so for me, like that's that's always I, lo- I love being in New York City. I mean, I think um, New Orleans. Um, Saints. Who that? Yep. Go Saints. <laughs> but, um, music, right? It's such a like a hub. For, it's a huge mm-hmm. hub for music. Um, the venue that we do there, House of Blues you know, iconic, like not only is House of Blues iconic, like the New Orleans ones is, mm-hmm. is, is iconic. Um, and then food, that's another like food mm-hmm. Mecca, you yep, know, yep. and, well, and then, the and then that's in the South, right? Like also opposite of like New York city, mm-hmm. you know, that, that Southern like hospitality, right? Like it's Every, cool to they be all in have the South great, and, great yeah. reasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you George, um, I think one of my favorite places is uh, Red Rock in uh, Colorado. Is it Red Rocks or is yeah. it Morrison? Morrison, Morrison, Colorado. Like Morrison, yeah. Colorado. Yeah, yeah. yeah this venue the, called the Red Rock Amphitheater. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Oh, the people that one day you run up it and that's stuff. the yeah. one. Yeah. That's yeah. the yeah. one, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's like a, out it's, like a park. it's like a city park or not or yeah. like a that place is so wild, bro. That's crazy. That's Colorado is a good. I've been there a couple times. Colorado is awesome, and it's legal there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Okay, well, mahalo everybody for the social media fan question. Yeah, make sure you leave some right for our next guest, and maybe a question will make thank it on the guys. podcast. Okay, yeah. so we're coming to the back half of the podcast. You guys good on time? We, we good? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, but. okay. <laughs> but we'll, we'll start wrapping up with these um, last questions. Okay, I like to ask all of my guests uh, when they come on the podcast, what does keeping it aloha mean to them? Mm-hmm. That's the name of the show. You know, aloha is huge for us in Hawaii, you know, all trying to spread it. And people have different meanings of aloha. But I just want to know in your life, how do you keep it aloha? Hmm. Um, I was anticipating this question, but I didn't have an I still <laughs> don't have an answer. But I think um, I know like communication lately, just thinking about, you know, like relationships and, and everything. Um, I think communicating is super important and and I think you know that is that's a Hawaiian value, you know, like ho'oponopono. It's a family thing or whatever. But just realize like how important communication is. Like we have a, te- a tech guy, Ikona, um, it's an awesome guy, and he he is he kept saying you can never over communicate. He kept saying that on this last mm-hmm. tour, and I was just like, man, that's that's so true in your relationship at home, in your business stuff, and everything. And but I think that's a part of showing aloha is like. Being keeping it real, like you said, keeping aloha, but like communicating with people, mm-hmm. and and uh, I, to me, um, I just I'm I, that's been a theme lately, so I think that's an important part of aloha. There's there's a lot to it, but, yeah. You know, being able to conversate with someone you meet or just look them in the eye and talk to them or whatever it is, I think that's a big part of it. You know, just to like respect someone, listen to them. Mm-hmm. You know what like so i think that's that's important yeah i love that the the interesting thing with answering like the these definitions of a law because i've been on a couple podcasts and people ask me similar questions and i think about it and i feel like my answer changes every time depending Mm. where i'm at in life like you know i feel like i just went surfing and (laughs) somebody was crossing the street and they didn't throw up the shaka Mm -hmm. and then i get i get annoyed but Mm. i'm like okay keeping it aloha is patience or like another time it's like somebody did like this beautiful act of kindness right. close the door open i'm like oh being that's aloha to me you know it's like yeah. those small acts of kindness right i feel right. like it always changes yeah like you know for sure that that yeah. is probably the most relevant thing to you right in your now, life yeah so if i ask you this again in like a couple months it might change it's gonna be different yeah, probably so I, yeah because that's not what i would have said like, yeah i don't know but just when, when what's been going on lately it's just yeah that's my that's yeah. my thought on awesome. it right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah well you too um i think just I think just being like mindful of all those things, you know, um, but like being mindful and because I feel like Aloha is like, is, is like a mindset and how you treat others, how you treat yourself, um, you know, being, being kind, being respectful, being patient and not that we expect others to do the same, but more so that like that we hold like ourselves to that type of mindset and that standard so that like we know that like we did our part in in keeping it aloha and mm-hmm. keeping ourselves aloha and coming 
coming like forward and anything that we put out for it with Allah. Mm-hmm. And I think as long as we can do that through any any little everyday act, like something as simple as holding the door, like crossing the street saying thank you, merging lanes mm-hmm. saying thank you. Like for some reason, I feel like if I merge and I don't say thank you because I feel like they cannot see through my tent, then I'm like, oh, no, shoot, I got to roll down my window and say, That's not but one. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's the little things that if you hold yourself to like, to, to, to keeping it aloha and having that type of presence of mind to just to, to care for others, you know? And, um, then I, then I think like, I think that you do a good job in, in keeping it alone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I do that too, because I don't know if you can see through the back of my truck. It's like a <laughs> yeah. small window. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I'm just like this and I feel like they can't see me. So I go roll down my window. But yeah, yeah. I sometimes I, I don't roll it down enough. So I'm like trying yeah, to squeeze yeah, yeah. my hand yeah. out of it. <laughs> and then, like, I don't know if it comes out just like, it's like weird, like I just. And then are we com- are we compromising the safety of us, our, us and the others in our vehicle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because we got we're a, so focused. Yeah, on so that. I don't know. I don't you know. Yeah, yeah. some new things. The about. little things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jordan? That's the battle, yeah, in your head. I, yeah. I I totally agree with everybody. You know, I, it is the small things, and you know, just being positive, and you know, having that mindset, and like me growing up, like like my mom or like even my friends would tell me like I was like Mr. Aloha because I you know like I was always like you know saying hi to people that I didn't know starting conversations just like small things like mm-hmm. that you know what I mean and um just just being nice you know what I mean in this in this world right now that we're living in there's just so much negative things that you see on you know social media and stuff like that so I don't know I just I I look at it as a small things like you like you guys said you know holding the door open for somebody or Kupuna, you know, or mm-hmm. anything, just the little things, it, it really matters, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And, um, you know, just showing positivity and a lot in just those ways is unreal. Love it, love yeah, it. Yeah. Mahalo. For sure. Yeah, I mean, you guys do a great job at spreading the aloha and the Hawaiian culture as well. And I love how you guys incorporate Olelo Hawaii and this like Hawaii kind things into your music, into just what the green is. And uh, this, I'm sure Brad has a lot to do with the Olelo Hawaii aspect yeah. of it, he helps yep. with that. Yeah, big time. Um, was, that, was that always a plan for the green, like to incorporate that, or is that something more recent? I think it's something that we always like, we always had um, in the, even if it's not obvious that it, like Hawaiian culture is at the forefront of a song or something, mm-hmm. I think just our roots are present in, in the song. And, um, and a lot of our songwriting just has to do with like, you know, living in Hawaii, you know, whether it's like, the, the good things about living in Hawaii or like mm. the challenges of living in Hawaii um, yeah. or what the challenges like Hawaiian people go through. And, um, and I, and so that's something that we, we resonate with. And um, when we put a new idea down on paper and put it into song, like a lot, of, uh, it, a lot of times that stuff comes out, you know, like, and so I think that we do it without, we do we, we do it without trying you know and it's then, inherent it, yeah. It, yeah and and yeah. zion and i'm sorry brad is and now that brad like has learned to like olelo and um it's we have someone there representing like that part of it who feels even more and brad's not even hawaiian too like i you know but he's the only one of us who are mm-hmm. all hawaiian that can olelo yeah and so that's inspiring right oh, and 100 he's there to like also push that envelope with mm-hmm. us and because now he wants to be more like Hawaiian and more mm-hmm. Olelo and songs and stuff. So we look we look for opportunities in that sense to how can we incorporate Olelo through like um, events or like other, like we did contests, right? The mm-hmm. Eunui Mai contest. And um, those are a lot of things that Brad has brought to the table and we're stoked on it and we're going to do more things like that in the future. We have a full Hawaiian album. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, that's... The next you know. Kili'i Rai show. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, what's another? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. I'd love, love to see it. Yeah, yeah so, it's awesome. So what's yeah. the, the future for The Green? Where do you guys go from here? And like, how long do you plan to keep doing this? I mean, you guys got family, kids. Bruh. Forever, bro. Till yeah. the wheels fall off, bro. Yeah, till the wheels to fall off, yeah. bro. Till we cannot. Yeah. I would say till we cannot walk on stage. But I've yeah. seen people make some arrangements for guys to get up on stage. So I got to sit down in the wheelchair. Right. Yeah, so like, let's, 
let's <laughs> bro i mean too serious too we cannot you know for sure till somebody yeah. one of us is saying guys sorry bro i love you guys but i don't count already but go ahead <laughs> guys just start retiring yeah yeah okay like, we can keep going then yeah yeah, I mean, look at Capena. They've been going for years, right? Yeah, right. And he's just got the kids. Because that's our you know, example. Is like, yeah. you know, and if he can, it, gosh, the Capena, like the idea that they've been able to keep going through their family and now they're on their, like, what, third generation. Yeah. That's amazing. And it's inspiring, too. And um, I don't know if, I mean, hey, we have more than a football team where the kids, like, it's possible, mm-hmm. you know, but mm-hmm. like, yeah. What is it? The see. next generation of the green, the light green. <sighs> light what is it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll just call them like Kamau or something. Or oh, like, nice! You know, like that's really like cool. That. I like, like that. You know, I don't <laughs> oh, know. That's actually really but, cool. I mean, for the future, we have we're 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 gonna do some we're gonna do some good things. Like we're gonna get into. Um, we want to do a lot more in the community. Mm-hmm. Um, we're we're organizing a nonprofit organization that we've kind of announced already through our golf tournament. It's called Kamau. And um, so we're in the process of that, and we're looking at focusing in on um, on music, Aina and Olelo, and and supporting those things here in Hawaii um, any way we can, and holding events and fundraisers to to be able to support um, our keiki, our people, our musicians, you know, and um, other organizations here in Hawaii that are have the same that align with those those types of missions, and and so that's one thing. But other than that, we got more music coming. Mm-hmm. Um, we have an EP release soon, and then an album yeah. soon, and tour next more year tour through next the year. south and the east coast. Yeah. Something big for for the for the smokers' holiday next year too. We got mm-hmm. planned. Yeah, awesome. Um, We're going to New Zealand, all Australia, all kinds of stuff. Australia for the January. first time. Oh, so, amazing! Yeah. yeah, super cool. Well, I'm excited That's to, to see see all of it. How do you guys feel about um, this new generation where everybody's like not really making albums anymore? Everybody's just dropping singles, right? Because of the streaming yeah. and everything. Yeah, that's that's, that's sick. That's, that's just that's yeah. the way it is. Like, are you, are you guys gonna change to that at any point? Or are you just gonna stick with the, the dropping the albums? No, this was the like this year we released a couple songs. Well, when did the Sons of Zion song come out? Was it the end of last year or was it the beginning of this uh, year? Uh, 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 on I my remember. way. Mm-hmm. I think it came. I want to say it came I out remember. in January, but. We've technically released three songs, I think, this year, mm-hmm. um, which is not really normal unless we're on an album cycle where we're like, hey, this is the first single off the album. This is the... But we are planning on releasing a, a limited, like a, a few songs, like an mm-hmm. EP mm-hmm. for for the songs. But yeah, that's just the style now is just you got to kind of come out with more stuff. So we're we're not against it or anything like that. You know, uh, we're constantly creating and, you know, we'll always be making music. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's just, we're, we're real strategic with why we release a song and what it's for. Like the summertime single that we just came out with, like that was, that had a whole tour wrapped around it. And we were planning it for months and making the artwork. Kikes was working on it forever and trying to make it all cohesive and a brand. And it all built into the summertime song. And it was like, you know, that's ideally what we want to do. Um, and not just be like, here's our new single, you mm-hmm. know, well, but we're not against that either. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of things that we, we we are doing other than that. So we try and tie things in and make it make sense and be more than just, you know, a song coming out. Mm-hmm. But Awesome. So, I, I have a question. Uh, I just thought of it right now. How do you know if a song is going to be a hit? Because I'm sure you, there's been certain ones you're like, oh, everyone's going to love this. Because even when I'm posting clips for the podcast, I'm like, oh, this one is going to be a banger. <laughs> one million views. Wow. And then yeah. there's like a couple hundred likes. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. probably posted it at the wrong time. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out. reach the right wrong. people. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you know. Sometimes Honestly, you know. Honestly, lo- yeah, when know. we were writing Love Eye, we were like, this is this song is going on the radio. Yeah, like we d- we made it to go on the radio. Mm-hmm. Everything about it, from the chords, the name, the lyrics that Caleb was writing and singing, and the guitar riff, like everything about it was like we're like for the radio. Like, yeah, and that was back in the FM 100 days, right? I don't was 985 out or like killing so it. So they're yet? yeah they're, they're around, around, but yep. yeah. So you know we were like that's what we were shooting for, um, and we've had a couple songs where. Like, oh, it's like you know a song is is a good song, great song, and our fans who are real fans will love mm-hmm. it. But like, what's gonna? You don't really know what's gonna like be a hit or strike a chord. 
Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. We've I, never like had what like you a... said, it's like you think it's going to be a hit and you're like, oh, it's not, you know. Yeah. Like coming home, honestly, didn't think. Like I knew it was one of my favorite songs on the album, but like it wasn't a reggae song. Mm-hmm. So I didn't think it was going to be so massive like on the radio. And um, it and it was, right? And it's still getting like heavy play on the radio. Um, I just, that's the one thing I just didn't expect mm-hmm. it to like have this kind of longevity is on the radio. I guess mostly because it's not like a reggae song, but mm-hmm. you know, then you just never know. Interesting. Yeah. Sometimes it just sticks and sometimes that are you guys will you ever go down the country route like Molly? No, nah, I mean, I don't think we I don't think we can, you know, like I thought isn't that Jordan style? We we never heard him sing it. If he wants it to be? No. <laughs> can we, can we now we love we love we love country, country music. We, <laughs> yeah we've technically written songs that are like could be considered a country song ikaika has i uh, <laughs> came home from morgan wallen on, on this last tour and like wrote a country song <laughs> in my head it's a country song <laughs> um but like yeah i don't know uh we would we just we love we love all that stuff so i mean who knows? I don't know. We're not, and I we wouldn't, wouldn't say we wouldn't n- not never. record it because it was a country song. Yeah. Like if it but, has yeah. to be a country song, then it's but you'd make it in song. your own. Yeah, but we would probably style. write. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't think we would we would do like a cover of a country song. You know, I don't. I don't yeah, yeah. It's, it's, fine. Fine. A, it's a dumb question. Sorry, no, 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 no. stupid <laughs> question. My bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. We love sorry, country. Sorry. Yeah, we love country music also. And like Zion said, we literally do, we do write with the mind, like thinking like, okay, this is this is kind of country, <laughs> right? You know, but we're not gonna just come out like full on country with it, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. What what is one thing you wish people knew about you that they don't? Wow. <sighs> Maybe something that you think they misunderstand. And uh, let's think of one individually and let's do one like collective one for the green. Wow. Um, that I cook most of our meals at home. Mm. Like you cook at your house. I'm not not for these guys. I prepare prepare dinners. He has prepared dinner for us. Oh, okay. Not to take anything away from my wife because she has the hardest job of all, which is being a mom, Mm -hmm. you know, um, and taking care of our two kids when I'm gone, which is a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I make dinner breakfast too. Yeah. But you have a cooking show. I don't know if that's like a surprise. Oh, shoot. I don't know if it's everyone's surprised that you make the meals, you know. Okay. Because he has. Oh wait, I've seen, seen, seen that like, before. See, yeah. I don't. I don't show. really. Okay. Kaika's kitchen. Okay, yeah, but I've seen. Yeah, I've seen that before. Actually, so. I totally forgot about that. Okay, yeah, that's true then. Yeah. Sorry, I think of something else. You Go forgot, no, no, but you that, forgot that's about good. that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, shoot, I don't even, I don't know. I can't think of anything that I like want people to know that they don't know. <laughs> yeah. you know? It's like, oh, yeah, they don't know. Not they don't want to know. It's just something that maybe um, they just like, you wish they knew, like, I'm not big and scary or whatever wish, it is, you know. Uh, I wish they knew what really happened. No, no, no. I'm just <laughs> um, I believe in aliens. Uh, I do believe in some weird stuff. Now, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's Did you I, see that they said that there was like a bunch of things going on saying that like aliens I saw exist? That. Yeah, someone mm-hmm. testified. Yeah, yeah, that that's, they, yeah, that's crazy. That they have. Yeah, I mean, I'll see yeah. when I believe it. Yeah. No, I'll believe it when I see it. Sorry. Mm-hmm. See it when, I, see believe when it. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, shoot, I, I, I don't know, honestly. Mm. What do I want people to know? I don't know, because it feels like a weird question. Like, I don't want to be like, you should know this about me. Like, <laughs> This is this is why I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I tell I people all the time. Bro. I have nunchucks. That makes me cool. Mm. <laughs> nice. I have a PSA 10 Pokemon card. Oh, commissioner of my fantasy football league. That is nice. cool. That's that's that is that's cool. cool. Nice, that's nice. cool. Yeah. See, Jordan, you heard that? They said it's cool. Nerd. <laughs> it, I mean, it's <laughs> it's kind of nerd is cool nowadays, yeah. bro. Yeah. For a long time, anime right? is cool. I don't watch anime, but anime is cool. Anime is cool. My yeah. kids like that. Jordan. Uh, I don't know. Like Jordan, as you said, it's us. hard. Is that is that gold chain fake? Is that what it is? It's not, bro. <laughs> it's not, bro. It's not. I'll tell you what I wish people didn't know about me. <laughs> and I said it earlier. 
this whole Subway thing. I <laughs> <laughs> wish go. people didn't know that I worked at Subway before I played for the green. But there's nothing wrong with what right. hey, 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 might... because What are, what hey, are the colors? What you green. Right? If you work at Subway, that's all good, bro. Yeah. Well, well work tell you what. Working you know, Subway. like me, make your sandwich. Kurt I Kurt Warner up. worked at the grocery store beca- before he became a, a Super Bowl champion. Well, that's still not Subway, bro. <laughs> you know? Nah, but that's, that's cool. I didn't even know that. That's cool. Yeah. I love Subway. Um, yeah. I haven't eaten there. They're in a while, everywhere. But yeah, they're I heard it, they're one of the easiest French uh, stores to open. Mm. Mm. Like anybody can open a subway. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, there. Yeah. I noticed when we were on that first tour and we had those gift cards. They were everywhere. Yeah, like, the truck stops would have like a few different spots, but Subway would be like eighty percent of them. They'd have yeah, a Subway. Yeah. It, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Before uh, I end the podcast, I have to know what it, what is your life hacks. Mm. So that's something. Hopefully, you thought about. <laughs> before this or if not you gotta think of it on the spot take a water bottle into the port of, no, <laughs> uh, that's mine that, that was, was a good one that was a good one that's a good one um, yeah. take a water bottle into any bathroom you <laughs> i don't i don't know i don't i don't, I don't chips know if i have i don't know if i <laughs> tsa pre-check Oof. i keep <laughs> telling myself i gotta TSA get pre-check. that yeah uh, that's a crucial one global entry yeah yeah i can't think of any right now mm. um I know one thing, not everyone knows, you know those, you know, when you're washing dishes, uh-huh. you know, the scrubby, it's usually like scrubby green side, the coarse side and oh, the yeah, other yeah. side is the soft yellow side. The soft yellow side is for your oily pots and pans. I don't know if everyone knows that, mm. but if you want to get the oil off, you cannot use the scrubby side. You got to use the, the soft side. The spongy so, side. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just letting you guys know your rubber scrapers, all that mm. stuff. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I, I kind of I'm, didn't, I'm freestyle. Didn't know that I'm I had freestyle to, when I, I watched. That one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And he looked at me like he was like, "Bro, I can't believe I didn't know this." I was like, "He's been washing it with the scrubby side." I don't. I don't, I don't buy don't the green and yellows anymore. Or the blue. Or the blue uh, and yellows. How do you feel or, or about the, the or the hand brush? Yeah, with the, the hand brush. How do you inside? feel about that? The the hand Bruh, brush. I cannot. I cannot squeeze. I want to be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To freaking get up. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You My auntie has a like a cloth like a. I don't know what it's called with like the pukas inside. And then um, she just, instead of putting a, a dish soap, she just has like a, a small cup and she dips it. So, and she just washes it like that. Oh, okay. that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great idea. Mm. But nice. you got, you got a life hack for us, Jordan? Oh, I can't think of it anywhere. I'm, I'm think I'm trying to think so hard right now. Hmm. Bro, going back to washing dishes, though, I might want to add. <laughs> no, for real. Because when she said that, bro, so my auntie taught me to put, like, soap in the pan, like an oily pan, and you rub it with your hand, bro. Like, you huh. you get everything off with your hand, and everything comes off. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, you just like put a little bit of soap. I mean, just like, just your, like just your palm. Yeah, you can just rub it, mm. and everything comes out, bro. It's crazy. And then, of course, you're going to take the sponge off there and then do it again. But to get that thing not oily, you just rub it with soap, and, like, it's crazy, bro. I, I didn't think it was going to work, but I cooked mm. bacon one day or something, you know, mm. oily like that, and I washed the pan after. I was tripping. And the was like, pan oh. was good, but your hand was oily for the rest of the I day. I mean, yeah, and yeah. the thing smelled <laughs> like bacon the rest of the day, but it, yeah. that's not a problem with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought about that once he said that. Z. It's crazy. We're just cool. going straight. It's important clean information. Kitchen yeah, yeah, we yeah. are. You might as well just yeah. keep it there. Yeah. One thing you didn't know about the green, they're really into kitchen and cooking and dishes yeah. and bacon <laughs> yeah. and bacon. Yeah. Yeah, bacon. Oh, yeah, I hate waking up and the kitchen is dirty. Yeah. Yeah. So when you oh, install so your countertops in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> You want to make sure you have an overhang over the over the cabinets, yeah. So you know why. So when you scrape the food and you clean the counter, right into the hand. Mm. Yeah, smart. Mm. Nice. Otherwise, you gotta try to get flush. And it, Grandma's is no flush way. with the cabinet. You know yeah. what I mean? That was like I don't know old school style. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta no launch it. Off you gotta launch yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta get it. You, know, you, 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 you hope yeah. for the best, and you're getting about seventy yeah. percent. Yeah. So <laughs> that's awesome. Mm. What about one for the for the green? The band, the green. Oh, I don't know. If you guys watch this whole podcast, you pretty much understand yeah. us already. No. <laughs> um, what was it? What What would we want people oh, to something know? Something you wish people knew I about think you. That, that I think that like we would want people to know that like we we're we're brothers. You know, like what we do, what you see, or like you know 
whatever you may think just know that like we love each other it's real and um that's always most important and uh everything from from then on is like comes from that and so like i think that's important to know yeah. awesome yeah. right on well mahalo so much for sharing all that i just got my last fast fade five questions so these are just rapid fire answers yeah. okay and in any order Favorite. Anyone has an answer, just I had, shout it out. Yeah, I had favorite uh, airplane snack, but now I want to switch it to favorite tour slash, or like bus snack. Mm, bus snack. High noons. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sour Patch Kids. Big bag. In, in the bunk. In the bunk. In the bunk. <laughs> Only mine. Hey, top bunk or low, low bottom, 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 bottom bunk? Bottom bunk. Yeah. Kikes is bottom bunk. Yeah. Jordan is too, actually. Yeah, I'm bottom bunk mm -hmm. too. Uh, yeah. if it's Frank. snack I don't know bro that's the thing like you almost don't snack on the bus yeah you like, scared you that's a heavy don't meal don't really snack yeah it's like you go find somewhere good to eat or eat, you know okay well fa it. favorite uh, airplane snack zip pack <laughs> <laughs> this guy is rapid <laughs> fire with the hookah. I enjoy a nice uh, hurricane popcorn snack. Nice yeah, hurricane yeah. popcorn hurricane on the plane is it's it's so awesome from the cart from, from the, the cart, cart. Yeah, yeah 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 Ooh, I love the hurricane yeah. popcorn because I think that's the samurai one it might be the I samurai uh, I think the one on the plane right you know what my favorite one on the plane in the cart is the furukake chips the corn oh, chips, yeah. Yeah. chips. Yeah. Yeah. that one is good oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. what kind yeah. of chips corn <laughs> <laughs> chip yeah ratch, ratch, ratch. yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, I I forgot. I don't like those chips. Though, right? <laughs> I thought we were talking about uh, the wonton, the, the Mayan one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are fire too. Those are fire. Oh. My bad. I'm confused by that question. Okay. So these next questions are for Zion and Jordan only. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite mu musical inspiration? Holy. Mm. Oh. Al Green is one of my all-time favorites. Um, Coincidence. The yeah, <laughs> total. Green. Oswald. Oswald. Mm -hmm. Michael, Michael Jackson. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, MJ. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, for sure. Steel Pulse. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the, like Ta Peter Tosh. Love Peter Tosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you say, Kaika? I said Oswald. Oswald. I don't know. They're, like, um, they're like, uh, from the UK. Oh, okay. They, um, yeah, they're like around the same time as like Steel Pulse and like that kind of era of music, and also UK like Steel Steel Pulse is. Mm. And okay, yeah. I gotta look them mm. up. Cool. Don't turn around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, favorite food to eat? Zip pack. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> High noons. <laughs> <laughs> We're just repeating the same answer. <laughs> They're universal. <laughs> oh, I like I like making barbecue. We have we got um we got a Traeger at home. Okay, so nice. I like, like making some barbecue mm -hmm. action, cooking some stuff for the family. Nice. Yeah. Kawamoto's maki sushi. Okay, oh, come on, go. There we go. I'll give you that one. All right. Kilo <laughs> side. Kawamoto's. Yeah. What, Korean chicken too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. everything sure. good. Oh, that oh. sounds mean. I gotta go call models. <laughs> what about you? Anything Korean? I love Korean food. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Korean barbecue. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Did saying. you know meat Jun is not uh, like an actual Korean thing? It's just like a mm. Hawaii Korean. Yeah, thing? it yeah. is, bro. Yeah, and yeah. I found that. We, that we I found probably did the same thing the as you. Tried yeah. to order it <laughs> on the mainland, and they're like, huh? The hard way, bro. Yeah. We was like yeah, in New yeah. York or something, and I went to like a Korean spot. I was like, bro, where's the meat junk, yeah. bro? You know, they always search for <laughs> Carol's <laughs> rights out in the mainland. So it's like Japanese or Korean. Is yeah. like, nowadays, choke people get white rice, but like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is that meat sure. Huh? Yeah, that's what funny. Is that meat junk? Yeah, that's funny. Huh? Okay, favorite vacation destination? Uh, like I haven't been anywhere. I don't know <laughs> on vacation. Kauai. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Outer islands, get away. It's local boy, rooted, lower to the soil. I know. I know. I know. I theirs. Got, I can answer I gotta, for both of them. I gotta go Do with the Z. mouse, bro. Yeah. The I one? gotta go with the mouse. Disneyland. Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because hardcore Disney. Really? These guys. Are like, there. like. Years at all? Like no, 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 okay, no, no more okay. years. Not that hardcore. I'll make my True kids wear it. Yeah, for sure, bro. Sign me up. Yeah. 
My ears are. I wear mine on the inside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. We were, we, we've been in all day, in, near Disneyland on like a day off, and like I think Kikes just went by himself. <laughs> Hey, I'm no shame. Yeah, you don't no let go. Shame. Hey, if you huh. can, if you ah. can poop in a porta yeah. potty <laughs> in hundred degree weather, yeah. when everybody's waiting for you, you can go to Disneyland by yourself. Yeah. Disney got good bathrooms. And I'm there. fine with yeah. it. If you don't let go, like, yeah. Yeah, I can, I, but you you go for the rides, the like the um, the food, yeah. the entertainment, the, above. the, the, the magic, the magic. <laughs> the magic. <laughs> the magic. <laughs> hey, you know they got a magic show here in at the <laughs> Waikiki uh, Hilton. Grand like a, like a, no, like a like a legit <laughs> magic show where some of the world best magician come. It's like this random oh, room. Oh, crazy! And, oh, at the Hilton, yeah. No, I didn't know that. You should no, you no. should check it out. If you want to check it out, I can. I can, is it I like, can put in a. Is it like this? It's like magician. That's not the kind of magic. <laughs> oh, okay. I we're talking about different. <laughs> You're thinking, it's behind your ear. <laughs> Well, I guess talking about that childhood, the joy, Disneyland magical experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we're talking about mushrooms, then we gotta talk to some different guy. <laughs> if we're talking about actual magic. No, yeah, yeah. I, I think you're talking about actual magic, like <laughs> magicians. Huh? You mean like, yeah, like how they yeah. sound like, yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Thanks. What kind of magic are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm talking about. Oh uh, yeah. No, you know. <laughs> I feel the magic. <laughs> Just the just the magic of Disney, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The the energy. This is <laughs> ending on a great <laughs> like. No, I forgot what my last what, question was. I, what ask. I want everyone to know about me, okay, is that I love Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's my last one. Okay, and uh, it's gonna be kind. I guess not like emotional, but sentimental. Okay. So, favorite thing about each other. And we'll go like this. So, um, Jordan for Kaika, Kaika for Zion, Zion for Jordan. So, my favorite thing about Kikes. Yeah, yeah. So, my most favorite thing about Kikes is that. As he looks at you, we are, uh, you know, (laughs) extra close. Like, all the boys are close, but me and Kikes are extra close. You know, we ride together on the golf course, we shared a lot of meals together by ourselves, you know. We like the same food. Like a little bromance you know? going on? Of course. I mean, we get mistaken for each other. Mm. We yeah, wake up the at the same time. <laughs> yeah. We, we're, which means we're going bathroom, same time, and lunch. Fun fact. I don't know if it's fun, but we always get mistaken like for each other. Like People call him Jordan. People call me Kikes. Yeah. It happens all the time. I want people to know that. It's a thing. I'm not Jordan, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not Kikes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. I'm not the drummer. Me- yeah, maybe they're, just, not the they're, maybe they're calling you strong. Like, oh, you Ikaika, like well, you strong I boy. Mean, I don't know. People would come up to me and say, "Voice of an angel, man." You know, <laughs> like small things like that. I'm like, dude, I play drums. Bro. Good you job know, on like, the drums, bro. <laughs> I know, bro. I know. Yeah, we just accept it now. We yeah. just ride along. You know, I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah thank you, bro. Right That's on. That's funny. You know? Yeah, they yeah. don't look that close, like to us, but bro, it happens all the time. All so the weird. time. All bro. the time. It just yeah. happened like a couple weeks ago at a gig. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan, bro. I appreciate yeah. that. That's like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the truth. Like, yeah, it is. me and Jordan are, mm-hmm. are close and on the same schedule all the time. For sure. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, Zion. Zion. You can cry if you like, you know. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. You yeah. got Phoenix um, in the pocket, huh? <laughs> Zion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Zion. Um, no, Zion is. Hey, hey. No, you know what Zion is? He's a. I like. I I love Zion because he's a he's a good person. Now that's a very like general thing to say, but he really is. He really, mm-hmm. he really does is like the voice of reason. I come to him a lot mm-hmm. to get like what his thoughts are when there's something that we need to navigate that's a little bit more difficult than your normal like l- life decisions. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And like. Zion will always have like an honest answer mm-hmm. and and it always comes from a place of Allah. And mm-hmm. that's I can see what that. I love about Zion. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Frick. <clears throat> Thanks, bro. The voice of reason. It's it's yeah. nice to hear 
people say nice things about you, yeah? For sure, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we're here for. It. So hurry up. I'm waiting for my yeah. turn. No, 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 no as far as like his personality and his his youthfulness and like his energy. Um and I love that. I love that about him, but I I don't know, it's it's kinda it's kinda hard to say. Like I, I never really thought what what I like the most about George, but it's just like I just love that he's just here and he's he came to us as like a, like an angel, you know, to mm. like sort of just like complete us, yeah. Mm. And it was just so automatic, and I just love that. Like, no matter what, like, um, especially on tour too, because like me and like them too, for sure, is like 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 Attached. there's you can tell yeah. there's a group within a group. Caleb and I are like that a lot too, because you know we're the, we're we're the burners, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But Jordan, it's me, Caleb, and George too. George a lot, George, George. <laughs> So um, I don't know. It's just like he's. I have a connection with him too. In like we all we all have our own little connections, you know. Mm-hmm. Like even Jordan and Brad, because mm-hmm. they're the drum and the bass. It's like mm-hmm. they have a super close connection that's different than all of us, mm-hmm. you know. So I don't know. I just I just love that George is George. <laughs> I try to say George, and it's coming out George. Yeah, but it's I just, not George. <laughs> but I just, you can say George, bro. I just appreciate that, um, <laughs> brother. George is always there. <laughs> um, <laughs> And like, yeah, I don't know. I it just, it's just, it's, I'm just thankful for for him, you know, because mm-hmm. like, man, it's just like, it's like another brother there, you know, and, and I know on tour, like when I opened up that back door, like, hey, you little jerk. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my man right there. So yeah. yeah, I'm just so thankful that like, that he's he came hey, to us and yeah. and it was meant the, to the be, missing bro. piece, yeah, like, dude. We're you know couldn't have. It's just just meant to be. So yeah, all right, Ron. He didn't say he didn't say anything about his drumming. He just said all all good things about his right on. Yeah, yeah I don't think his drumming other. speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, we don't. I don't think any of us talk about each other's musicianship mm-hmm. <laughs> ever, really. You know, but yeah, right on, just, just thankful for for him and and his family and. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Love you, bro. Right on. Yeah. Perfect you, way to end the podcast. For I just sure, want to yeah. say again, mahalo to all three of you for making the trip out of, out over here and talking stories with us, sharing all about your lives, even the difficult things as well. So I really appreciate it. Huge nice. fan. Been listening to you guys for years. Right we'll on. continue Thanks, to bro. be listening as Thanks, well. So. I'm I'm excited to check you guys out at the Shell uh, in yep. September, September second, September second. So make sure yep. everybody goes buy tickets. And yep. September third at, at Maui Arts and Cultural yeah. Center mm-hmm. in with Kelana, 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 Kelana the music, and Teddy, and Swims. Yeah. And Teddy yep. Swims. Yeah, oh, it's gonna Let's be amazing. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Where can they buy tickets? Where good. Where can they? Um, thegreenaway.com always. And is this coming out before September 2nd? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the green yeah. mm-hmm. September 2nd, Waikiki Shell. Don't buy from the people saying that they're, they have for sale <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, yeah. That's like a new thing. Like people oh, are just know that. saying that they have tickets for sale into like the Don't end. do it. In the comments. Huh. Yeah. Don't go to those guys. Well, it's been going on a while, but nowadays they're getting more the messages are different instead of just copy and paste. It's like AI it's like, oh, everywhere. Oh, my family oh, yeah. can't make it anymore. And, uh, you know, it's like, just go green 808. And yeah, good. green 808. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you, Kamala. Thank, thank, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Congrats on everything. It's, Mahalo. Yep. Yeah, and um, where can we find each uh, of you individually? Kike Spear on Instagram. Bredger and Jordan. And Supa Chupa. Supa Chupa. Well, <laughs> again, yeah. Mahalo to thank Zion, you. Kaika, Jordan for joining us on the Keep It Low podcast. Spread love, be kind to one another, and mahalo for listening to us today. We have new episodes every Thursday, so make sure you follow us and leave a review. I'm your host, Kamaka. And remember to always keep it aloha. 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 aloha.